What a week it's been. Roblox? Roblox. Roblox, Roblox. Roblox. Smarch Madness. It's been a week. It's How's, been quite the week. How has your week been? Um, bad. Just playing the odds? <laughs> playing the odds is bad. <laughs> Although, yeah, uh, I guess we wrestle tonight or we wrestled last night, depending on when in theory we would be recording this. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I wrestled two shows back to back. Very possible. But one was How, kind, how's one your was broken kind of, how's your broken arm? <laughs> Drew, if that <laughs> happens. I say that every time. You're though. going to jail. I say that every time. You're going to jail. Federal pound me in the ass prison. F P M I T A P. I had to quick, take a quick pause, and I'm like, oh, I f- just for a second, hey, uh, Drew is making the international sign of pause. Uh, I forgot just for a moment how letters worked, <laughs> and then it came back. Uh, things to look look forward to more as I get older. Yeah, well, it'll be it'll be hard once you get thirty. I think it's I, all downhill. I hear it's all downhill after thirty. I hear that thirty is the new seventy-seven. Mm-hmm. You're a real Joe Biden. How old is Joe? Eighty. Nine. It's pretty old. Ninety-three. Should he be leading a country? Nope. But he's gonna be. Or another guy who's old will be too. Should any white man be leading a country or should they step aside? Maybe it's time to start. They're not ready. (laughs) They are not ready for that. (laughs) They were barely ready for a black man when that happened. Yeah. So, uh, and that was not as long ago as you think. So, yeah. Maybe they should uh, sit their ass down and listen. Barack Hussein Joe. Obama. They really had a was time. the president of the United States, not like uh, Terry Jefferson. No, no, Barack Hussein. Yeah, pretty wild. Like they went in. I feel like that couldn't happen now, but it happened more than fifteen years ago. I don't know. I, the thing is, like, back when Obama ran the first time, yeah, there were so many viable candidates on both sides. And there's now, fine people on both sides. And now there's, like, no viable candidates on either side. I think everyone figured out it's a bad job. Um, it's a bad job and that only men it. over 75 get. Yeah, I think I, it's not so much politics in general, because, like, lower, lower level lower? Poli- uh rollerball level politics <laughs> <laughs> are okay because sure. you can just kind of be quietly corrupt yeah and like stand under the radar that many responsibilities yeah, you don't actually have that much power just yeah. a title but yeah, then once you get to okay. be president like, then you have the to cry about atrocities who being the, committed in palestine who the fuck wants to be president i don't know some people i guess yeah but yeah just like before there was so much optimism about like Oh, there's like actual, like, you know, depending on what side of the political spectrum you are, uh, I'm on the retarded side of the spectrum. <laughs> Damn it. First minute. No, it's 330. Oh, it's three, oh, no fine. one's listening. Yeah, it's fine. Um, For demonetized, I'm going to give you such a spanking, though. <laughs> bear balls back I'm and gonna butt. I'm going to spank your bear balls back and butt. Maybe you can do it, sir. I'm not going to do it. Fine. Then fine. how about you? <laughs> um, but yeah, they were like, hey, shut up. Goddamn cool cyclists. motorcycle guy outside. Uh, cyclists. <laughs> uh, that there were... Uh, there was optimism about good candidates depending on which side of the argument you were on. Like, I... Not to get too deep into this political conversation because we got a lot to fucking do. This is a political podcast. But... What is this podcast? Uh, the news. Okay. Uh, Anything else? Worst year of our lives? I'm who? <laughs> <laughs> You're Scott. Okay. I'm You're? Drew. Okay. At Great. Saren Softballs on social medias. At mostly Letterboxd and I guess Twitter and Instagram and Mastodon and Furafinity. There you go. I'm that, but not Scott Henson. And I'm something else on Furafinity because... Because you were a nerd and didn't have a name yet. Um, I didn't have a name and... Uh, also, you're not a white tiger. Also, I'm not a white tiger, which uh, which that, which my Furafinity username belies. Because uh, it is White Tiger in Espanol. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was my first email address. Hmm. Tigreblanco at home.com. Weird. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what my first email is because it's fucking embarrassing. 
Yeah, it turns out in uh, in hindsight, mine is not so bad compared to some of the people I know, including you. Uh, turns out in 1998. I'm going to say eight. lame music reference. Nope. Lame wrestling reference. Nope. Lame being gay reference. Nope. Lame <laughs> sports reference oh. to a thing that was very popular in the world of sports. 98, you say? Uh, maybe 99? maybe later. Uh, I don't actually know exactly. 2000. Cliff Ronning's 2001. penis at rogers.ca. Uh, my very first email was slamming Sammy Sosa at hotmail.com. Nice. And Dar- Darren P, my best friend's, was Benny underscore Egg Bayani, which was a Samoan Hawaiian baseball player for the Mets that we liked. Huh. And then played like five years in the majors and was done and was kind of a chubby, like, I think he was a... I'm sorry, was he a, did you say he was a chubby Pacific Islander? Yeah. Who played in the major leagues? Was he the first one? Benny Egg Bayani was his name. Hmm. That was his first email. That was my first email. And then I got the more embarrassing uh, Southern Fried Metal at Hotmail.com. Southern Fried Metal is a bad one. Um, Which is still the email connected to my Facebook profile. Nice. That I cannot get into (laughs) because the other email that was the recovery email. Yeah. I don't I don't even know what it is. Oh, not not like not knowing the password. No. You don't know what the email. I don't is. know what the the secondary recovery <laughs> email is, and like my phone number is not attached to that. Like, there's nothing attached to that email yeah. that I currently have access to, <laughs> so I couldn't even access that email if, if I wanted, wanted to. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got the one that I currently use for professional and non-professional use rex but, holes 69 69 no, at gmail.com that is lucas funk why well, is that he'd be so silly as to use that on a job application or something uh-huh it mm-hmm. would be but that's because that was his name on youtube uh um, like he his profile name on youtube was that yes and, and he never put to his google and account. he never put in his first and last name Correct. on the google so it used that as his name so he sent a job <laughs> application as rex holes 69 69 <laughs> <laughs> ah, I I should be so lucky, King. That is the one of the greatest things that's ever happened to anyone. It's a really good man. one. Um, I, anyways, back to our political discussion before we did all this. Um, I'm sorry, I thought this was a politics podcast. Oh. Uh, where can they send us? Oh yes, of course. Uh, uh, PayPal dot me slash Sharon Sapaz or PayPal dot me slash You got it. And you can send it to one of us, both of us, uh, none of us, but preferably both of us. I'm gonna take none of us off. Oh, okay, the table. sorry. You have, have to send it you to You have to have send to. it to one Legally, of us. Legally, you are obligated to send it to one of us. You can send it to both. You can also send it to one and say it's for both. That's all you fine. You can send it to one and not say it's for both and you, then make the other one very sad. You can also do that. That's all on the table, but what is not on the table is sending to neither of us. Okay, deal. You have to Are you here? Do you hear me? Right now, you have to send to one of us. PayPal.me slash Sarian Softpaws, PayPal.me slash Not Scott Hansen. Don't make me scream. We have entered the not fucking around phase of the podcast. You have to send to one of us. How much? Preferably a lot. Don't, All right? Don't make me scream at you. I will scream at you. We This time next week, we're retired. Not from doing podcasts. We're retired from the rest of our jobs so we can just do the podcast because you sent us so much money. And now we can afford to. That'd be nice. All right. That'd All be right. perfect. In our awesome new perfect. podcast. Perfect. In our awesome new podcast studio that you guys bought us. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thanks again for buying right. that for us. No fucking around. Let's talk politics. I feel bad for Republicans that aren't Trump supporters. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of sucks. Tough spot to be. Yeah. Because you, like, you have to what? Like Nikki Haley. I guess, or you just have to concede to or not, just not voting. vote. <laughs> but the thing is, they'll never not vote. Yeah. So they would concede. They would. Ha- they would concede to voting for Trump. Yeah. But they don't want to. Yeah. But there's like, not a fucking we chance go they're letting Biden win. Yeah. Um. Remember all that talk about like Trump was going to run as an independent because there's no way he'd get the Republican nomination. But it's like that was a real thing. Yeah. Now there is literally no way he's no way he not doesn't. getting the yeah. Republican nomination. 
because they have nobody else. Yeah, like either he'd run independent or he couldn't legally run at all because he's a felon. Yeah, but, what uh, a world that would be. And if like the actual laws and rules. No, nothing's happening, right? Nothing's happening. Nothing he's happening. not going to jail. He's no. not paying any kind of fines or charge. Like nothing's going to happen. No. He's going to run for president. Yeah. Like, but, like it would be wild if like because if anybody on the Democratic side did that exact same thing. Yeah. They would be going to federal pound me in the ass prison. F P I T A P P M I T. Pardon me. Pardon me. I corrected myself. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's wild that he's a, a criminal, and he's as if that stops anybody for winning presidency in any of Eastern Europe, or you know what, some of Western Europe. Yeah, and uh, and often the bigger criminal you are, the more yeah. votes you get. So yeah, it's yeah at at worst. America is just aligning better with the rest of the world politically. Yeah. yeah. Or like uh, Brazil, I guess, or yeah. like France or Italy who all have like, Oh, well the guy running for the presidency on this side um, embezzled a bunch of money from the company he was a CEO of, but also I don't want to vote for the other side. Yeah. So I'm just going to vote for that guy. Yeah. I also like what, like Western, Western Europe doesn't do it so much, but like, Still, like, still parts of Europe that you can be racist to, like Italy and Greece. Mm -hmm. I like that every now and then, just to, like, stir the pot, they just elect a fascist. Yeah. Why not? It's, it's keeps keeps things interesting. It, it 100% yeah. does. It's yeah. like, it's a tight move. Hey, NATO, what are you going to do nation? now? Yeah. Our, our president's fascist. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, we can't kick you out, so... Nothing. Yeah, I guess nothing. And like, just like we're doing in every uh, unjust war happening right now, um, we're going to just kind of give some food to one side. <laughs> yeah. And then like, then they just like, go, then they, they don't stay fascist, though. Nope. They just like, well, you know, we, we ran in a fascist we had our fun. Then they just left like, elect like an extremely left wing woman. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's really fun. Who then gets Parkinson's and everybody makes fun of her, even though it's not something to make fun of. Yeah. Because I think Angela Merkel has it. Oh, yeah. Angela Merkel? Is that her name? Angela. Angela Merkel. Yeah. I think she has Parkinson's and and, uh, people are being and everybody in Germany that's like the opposite political party of her mm. has just been fucking making fun of her I about see. it. Like, in a real mean way. That's tough. Yeah. For Angela. Like, well, the, you got the jitters from all the cocaine you've been doing. And it's like, <laughs> no, she has a very severe neurological, neurological disease and it is affecting her on a day-to-day -day basis. Famous cokehead Angela. Yeah. Yeah, cool. like just just how po politics are. Same thing with when they kept saying that um, that Hillary had all those problems. That was fun. That was very funny. <laughs> when, some... when those fireworks went off and they were like, "That's not how a person reacts to fireworks." I'm like, "They do, and they don't fucking know they're going off." Yeah, and also when... I mean, like, "Whoa, Jesus Christ!" Yeah, and also when you're just kind of a like soulless bitch, you're yeah, like in your seventies, yeah, and... who like doesn't. Like has absolutely no way to relate to real people. Yeah, and your husband's a and your hu husband child sex predator, one of the most pr prolific pedophiles in modern history. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you're probably gonna like act not the way a regular person acts. Ken Bone acts. <laughs> <laughs> References. Good for you. Good for you. Red sweater. Red sweater. <laughs> do you know that? Do you know how like I don't I don't know if you've seen her in recent years, but like Monica Lewinsky. She's great. Is a smoke show. Yeah. And she's like... And Bill Bill knew. Bill's like, I'm going to get in now. <laughs> I'm going to get in on the ground floor. First. So that I can tell everybody... Dibs. I got there. Yeah. She's a little too old for me, but I got there. But she's a smoke show. She is. And like, she's doing great. Yeah. Living her best life. Yeah, absolutely. Like, made made good money. Yeah. She's like, I think she's a motivational speaker. Some, I'm sure because she Because she, she, she wrote a book about like the abuse she took from like yeah. the media and, you know, like regular people who like... Uh, you know that that was a Democrat, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not a Republican. And mm -hmm. uh, all of the like people who are on that side of the political spectrum, like treated her like she was a hooker. Yeah. Like she was a complete like floozy slut that was trying to seduce the president yeah. so that she could get millions of dollars and not that the, the former president is a sex predator. Yeah. And she was what, 1920? 1920. And yeah. like kind of chubby. Yeah. And now she's like, what is she like in her like early 40s? She could be 45. Yeah. 
and is like uh, super gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, she looks great. Like, yeah. Amazing. Looks great and having a good time. Yep. God bless her. Good for her. She's the best. A real success story. 100%. Yeah. She's great. Never went to the island. Good for her. No, I Chris, wouldn't recommend Chris it Tucker. for her. Chris Tucker. <laughs> Looking at you, Rush Hour. I think that I think they're making a Rush Hour 4. Sick. I think they are. With a, with a sex predator and a wife beater. I think Jackie Chan got in trouble for, for doing some roundhouse they, kicks to his wife. They made Rush Hour 3 with a sex predator. That's true. Roman Polanski was in it. Roman did nothing wrong. I'm I'm pro. We're, uh, this podcast is pro Roman. We had a pro Woody <laughs> from Toy Story, which you've never seen. This is I haven't seen it. This is revealing too much behind the curtain oh, and sorry. behind the candelabra. Yeah. But we had an which uh, one of us is <laughs> we had an unironic conversation off pod about how <laughs> Roman Polanski's okay. <laughs> I almost said which one of us is Pavarotti. <laughs> What? <laughs> you must never tell. Look, we'll reveal a lot, but you must never tell them which one of us is Pavarotti. <laughs> Are you having a stroke? I don't know. I'm tired. It's been you know, it's been a long day full of meat and recording another podcast. It's been, a, it's been a meat and my nap day. was filled with me watching cats fighting each other. You videos. were watching a lot of noisy cat videos. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Got distracted. It's going to be, t I mean, if it happens, great. That's just gravy. But if if something comes along better than Pavarotti for a thumbnail for yeah. the episode, <laughs> I'll be shocked. Well, it does. Awesome. <laughs> say it. You have to say it. I, I can't. Why? Because. Is it, it's that bad? Yeah. Say it anyway. Well, hold on. Let I'll, me, I'll bleep it. Let me see if I can find it first. Okay. I'll just hang out. I'll yeah, just hang uh, out and do dead air. <laughs> yeah, don't talk while I'm looking up a thing I need to look up. No, I would never. Uh, what have I written down today? F F P M I T A P. <laughs> uh, yeah. So basically, kids, what we're saying while uh, while Drew looks up whatever he didn't want to say, but I guess is going to say, and God bless him, uh, is what are, what what do we say? Vote Trump. Sure. D don't vote. What I I mean. Perfect world, blue sky in here. Zero votes. Who? No, there are zero total votes in the United States national election. Wild. I would love that. What happens? They do a runoff <laughs> and there's zero votes again. I, I don't know. And it just goes forever. You could actually sort of achieve stasis like that in that by the letter of the law you because they tied you have to do a runoff and then you just keep doing runoffs indefinitely and no one actually gets to <laughs> and be, there's never a president no one gets to be president and somehow the country is better off for it they might be uh case in point oscar host you know what the best oscars of the last several years is the one with no one host with no hosts yeah yeah like it works in other areas too so let's try the entire country i was hoping i could find a picture of Pavarotti as Liberace. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, that a thing? or that somebody made the poster <laughs> with Matt Damon and Pavarotti instead? <laughs> I don't think that's no. as common a but, um, connection that people are making as you think. Young, young Pavarotti. Could like, you get it? Well, I don't know. Just okay. like, he looks so different. He does look, well, he does, uh, and, and clean shaven. Yeah. But uh, is he? He's alive? Hmm. All right. All right. Possible. That's a fair question. I almost want to lean dead, but I know one of the uh, the other. Oh, maybe a different one is maybe the Hispanic. Uh, one. Luciano Pavarotti uh, died in 2007. He's dead. We are very late to the party of is him. Pavarotti alive or dead? R.I.P. 71. Luciano Pavarotti. Um. Now, how many of the is there? How many remaining like tenors are there? I'd say tops two, and I'm pretty sure another <laughs> one is dead. Why can't I remember uh, the name? Placido Domingo. I'm going to say Domingo alive. Alive. Other guy Jose dead. Jose Carreras. Carreras dead. Alive. Oh, we got two tenors. We got two tenors. Uh, he is 77, and Domingo is 83. Nice. Damn, this, the Wikipedia picture of Pavarotti is one of the most Italian men I've ever seen. Yes. 
This this, this bugger? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that guy. That guy is now that guy is Italian. That guy's Italian. That that guy is Italian. <laughs> uh so what Ital- Italian, Spanish also Spanish? Mexican Spanish. Like mm. I think he might have been They're calling it bad Spanish. Yeah, it is bad Spanish. <laughs> uh Placido Domingo. Uh that is also a um Ah, Spanish, but trained in Mexico. Ah. Uh, that's a, it's always sunny reference. Placibi. Placido <laughs> Domingo. <laughs> Police Academy, which is a great movie. It is a great movie, is great Charlie. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go watch it? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so we did politics. We did the three tenors. Are they alive? Yep. This is a great episode. <laughs> the second episode is always the one that's full of just the silliest shit. Yeah. It's, it's, it can go two ways. I think this one's going the right way in that we're a little punchy and it's like just silly and fun. And other times where we're just burnt out and it's, yeah. it's a straight up bad episode. Well, that's, we, we do three hours and then we're like, how do we still oh, have, yeah, to we have to record a second? Another three hours. And then I try to convince you to split the first episode in two parts and you're like, and I, I, yell I, can't, at you I can't do that. And hit you. Where are you going? Are you, are you leaving? Yeah, I'm, I'm tired. Are you quitting the pod? I'm tired. Are you? The day. It's a little dark in here. It was getting dark. It got dark real quick. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think this one's going the right way. Hour twenty. Of we got hour. an hour. Let's get it done. Remember when we recorded the longest episode we ever recorded? Yeah. And it got fucked up after one hour. Yes. And there were seven lost hours. Yep. God bless us. God bless America. And America. For not killing ourselves. Uh, yeah. Or just not we're, doing a podcast anymore. Yeah. Like, were we just in the best moods ever? Because I feel like if that, if, if we lost this an hour and a half episode, yeah. I would be devastated and probably never do it again. <laughs> I mean, it would be a real conversation about <laughs> how much do we care about do, this. Yeah. Are we like, hey. Should, should we just stop yeah. forever? Like, I can't believe, we, like, literally the longest single recording we ever did. Yeah. And we lost it. I think we I need, can't believe it. I think we need to promise ourselves. And God. And God. Which God? Allah. Of course. That if we ever lose an episode again. We quit. No. <laughs> we, we just don't, don't re, do it. Don't re-record that episode. That, 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 that is, is a, Allah's way <laughs> of showing us that that Not episode should never be heard. I will, uh, yeah, if that happens, and uh, and in, inshallah, it doesn't. <laughs> but if it does, I will make a uh, post on the community tab of the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at not Scott Henson. Go click the join button. Which is maybe where you're listening to. Give us a little bit of money for it on or a, a monthly basis or a lot of money. There's an option to give a lot of money. You can give $50 a month, and that's the amount you should give. Um, make a post on the community tab saying, hey, we recorded and it didn't work. And we and we will suck a cock on Christopher Street before we record it again. So sorry. See you next week. That's see you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. And that that is the bargain. Okay, folks. All right. I feel better. I feel better knowing I'll never have to never, re-record, re-record something. anything. Deal. Even if it's like an important part of the a best series. of twenty twenty one. Yeah, there there just isn't one gone. Yeah. <laughs> we'll release the graphic. That's it. <laughs> we'll release the emails. No, the, we're going to destroy the computer. Okay. It's probably the better way to go. Yeah. So, hey, you know how two weeks ago we got some cool scents from the, uh, well, fr- from the, made by the fine people at Zoologist mm-hmm. Parfums, uh, sent to us by the fine person, UV. And when I was... Uh, wildly scrambling through telegram trying to find like a single like hey Blurb. here's what i'm doing love uv <laughs> uh and i couldn't find it because I, I it started it felt like it was like broken up amongst a bunch of a bunch of messages and i couldn't really find it uh uv did in fact uh before two weeks ago send me just a straight up word document with absolutely everything in one place <laughs> and i i forgot so uh it has been resent to me 
and I am going to read it, but not before reapplying the scent. Huh? I'm going to scent first. Scent first, talk later. Pulling out a bit of my... I lost mine. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, I got it. Oh, you found it. Bit of my tiger by zoologist. Do a little spritz on the wrist, but not too close so that it forms a puddle. I know the technique. Don't sweat the technique. That's a song by... I don't know. An man. urban gentleman. And a little spritz. Ah, it turns out I have no strength in my right index finger. Hmm. There it is. It's nice. Spritz. And my snowy... Ow. Snowy. Ow. I do like... Yeah. I really like it. I don't need to smell you. Smell me. You smell like shit. I smell great. No, I don't want. I don't want to move all the way over there. You know, that's that's fair. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You got it. So UV says, and it did say more than two weeks ago. <laughs> uh, my bad. Hello again. I remembered in one of the episodes how both of you were talking about the Manscaped products. Ah, Manscaped. You. It's been a motherfucker. Didn't didn't even respond. Well, like you said, maybe he got fired and you're just communicating with nothing. I hope you fucking got fired, Sam Howard. You sucked. You suck. You sucked. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> Tip to tail, piece Tip of to shit. Tip to tail, piece of shit. Your slick back hair. <laughs> your sloppy steaks. <laughs> Those sloppy steaks do sound pretty sick. Yeah. Uh, talking about the Manscaped products, especially the fragrance, and I just found that conversation compelling. Then a singular thought occurred. I should recommend fragrances for the pod. I also thought of the idea when I tried curating a gift basket should a meetup occur, occur uh -oh. in the future. Uh, as I, I and uh, it was mostly guns. <laughs> uh, as I kept thinking about the logistics, it seemed hard finding a way to get it, choosing the best sample, choosing how many, considering your taste, etc. Uh, so I figured out a way that was easier in comparison. And since no one seemed to request it, might as well be the first person to do so. I implore, nay, encourage that you use these all up, whether you like them or not. Well, that seems bossy. That is very bossy what if and we, very demanding. What if we hated them? I wouldn't keep using it if I hated it, you silly. I don't like it when things go to waste. Yeah, but if it's a piece of shit, it's going to waste. Sorry. Since they're 1.5 milliliters, they'll be easy to use up fully. Not if they suck! <laughs> Who knows? Once a few days have passed, new opinions might form. Don't tell me to live my life. I'm going to editorialize every sentence here. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this is like when you used to read the ad reads for uh, Manscaped. I, I, I do be And like you would that. like correct his poor grammar. Um, actually. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, that's one of the joys I find as a fragrance hobbyist. Now for the selection, I chose the brand Zoologist because they're a Canadian brand, are animal themed and niche. It seemed the most befitting towards both of you furry kings. Thank you. I tried my best to mix fun and enjoyment as per Drew's threat as always. <laughs> I low-key wanted to troll by picking the worst and most divisive sense. Skunk. Uh, apparently bat is oh, a, bat. a rough one. Oh, yeah. But decided against it because again, I didn't want to be wasteful. God, I hope I don't sound like a marketer. Anyway, for Scott, uh, they didn't have lions, so I got you the second best big cat, tiger. This is... Uh, that's incendiary. I'm, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. I know you tend to like feminine scents, so I guess I've talked about this before. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> I do, my body can't handle that. Like, I, right now, I am where this tiger is the most masculine scent I can possibly wear. And it might even be too masculine. It's just that it is tiger. So that part works for me. I know you tend to like feminine scents, but if you're going to have an identity that fucks, why not smell like something that fucks? <laughs> I actually don't know if this is that smell, so good luck. Uh, for Drew, th oh, this is a deep pull. For Drew, they didn't have African wild dogs. <laughs> Other animals with huge clits or snow leopards. Those are deep pulls. <laughs> so I got something close instead, snowy owl. I figured you'd like this the most because you love hockey and snow. Uh, it might also smell feminine, which is also what you like, because you're also a little bitch. <laughs> that, might be, that might be a Scott line. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's fine. If you don't mind, I'd like it if you started the request early, like around 15 minutes in. Again, greedy. Uh, I think we did it early enough. We did it before yeah. some other things. Yeah. I don't know which, uh, because there might be a chance that the scent would change and we'd get to hear real-time opinions and reactions on it. Fair enough. Fragrance YouTuber. Fragrance YouTubers. I guess there's a YouTuber for I everything. I don't care for that statement that was just made. Right? Ugh. They're all skunk furries. Millennials. <laughs> They didn't buy those goddamn lattes. They could have a three-story house. Yep. 
for $1.9 million. Uh, fragrance YouTubers usually just talk about their experience overall rather than a real-time reaction. I figured that the podcast format would help immensely and offer something unique with both of you describing the experiences as it happens within the no less than two hours. That seems like an indictment, but also accurate. Uh, since the podcast is well known for its bathroom breaks, each of you can spray the sample on your forearms rather than the wrists, uh, which is I did right now because I'm wearing a watch and it's hard to do on the wrist unless I want to scent my watch. Uh... Uh, and so the perfume won't get w- washed off when you wash your hands. I, that's the the implication that I wash my hands after I use the bathroom. <laughs> uh, also, since fragrance reacts differently to body chemistry, I, for example, have a pH of 94. <laughs> the, uh, thus making me, uh, I believe, the most basic bitch mm-hmm. on earth. <laughs> um, I think it would be a good uh, idea to sample both of each on your forearms, left arm for tiger, while right arm for snowy owl, and sniff them periodically. I'm always sniffing periodically. It's always interesting to see how people react to scents relative to their skin perception and their sensorial experience. So yeah, that's it. Love the both of you, as always. Bye. P.S. Hmm. Turns out you weren't done. Read the paragraphs for the fragrances on the website. We did that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it might help with the understanding of the vibe. Top notes, base notes, etc. Uh, sometimes certain notes are made of other different notes to evoke the smell of a specific thing like snow or rose and that's called an accord are you a fragrance youtuber Mm. uh pps i know i match the perfume the perfume to both of you accordingly but should you wish to trade you may do so thank you for your permission we're not trading we like our own nope like it so that's the thing i should have read when we did this two weeks ago and again i like how i smell a lot of sniffing. Yeah, but that's cocaine. That's also a little bit of cocaine. That's a little bit of cocaine. What does cocaine smell like? I remember it It doesn't, it tastes awful. Couldn't tell you. It tastes never like, done it. Yeah. It tastes like shit. I've never gone to a bachelor party where that was the main focus of the bachelor party. Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, How much of this can I say? How much of this can you eat? I can eat a lot of cocaine. Okay. <laughs> um, Would he... Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say the person that was involved in the situation of having or getting or doing cocaine. That's a bad idea. It was doing cocaine. Oh, okay. Um, So I guess I won't, but the scenario (laughs) was after, I guess it was the last, uh, the last boom show, which... December or November? Was there a December show? Maybe there wasn't. I don't think there was a December show. I think there was just a November. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, after the show, and this, actually, the very same thing is true for uh, the show that happened two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, these two uh, furries in uh, Richmond who have a big uh, property uh, who got uh, who got married uh, who've been together for a very long time Mm -hmm. not that long ago got like for reals married uh as as men as as two gay men gay but now one of them pulled a mean trick (gasps) and is trans turned the other one straight but (laughs) which is non-consensual that's a very mean prank yeah like ha 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 you're straight now i didn't (laughs) i didn't ask for this i didn't ask to fuck a woman ew 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 who's that for I don't know. Uh, not for me. Not me. Tell you what. So, yeah. So, I thought that was mean. Bussy's <laughs> where it's at. <laughs> so, and uh, every now and then, th- this might have been the f- first real one since COVID, for obvious reasons. Uh, but they they have what is known as a, uh, a trippy furry cuddle party. Right up your alley? Sounds disgusting. You like drugs and cuddling? The two, maybe your two favorite things? I, I like cuddling. Uh-huh. Not gay male furries. Yep. <laughs> fair. Because <laughs> they all smell like shit. Totally fair. Um, Every furry I've ever been around is the most disgusting person I've ever been around. <laughs> Especially that one in the mirror. Especially the man in the mirror. Barf. Barf. Um, it is thanks to those that I got high for the first time at age... 32? Wow. Yeah. 10 years in the future. 
10 years in the future. I'm a real Madam Web. <laughs> yeah, thanks to... Well, the, fir the first time I actually got high was a shitload of mushrooms and uh, MDMA. Mm -hmm. uh, but then the and next poppers. time... Obviously poppers. Yeah. You got to keep that butt loose. <laughs> uh, but then the next time I just did the shitload of mushrooms and no MDMA. And it turns out the only thing the MDMA was doing was making me sweat. So that's an e easy enough part to cut out of the recipe. And it's, it's just the, the shrooms doing the, uh, the heavy lifting. And I, I had done shrooms probably at least, at least five times before the first time I got high. And I knew that regular people doses weren't, pulling their weight mm. so so i did a shitload and it worked i got i got a hallucinogen high and it was it was cool um what nothing i'm listening no i thought yeah. i thought you had no, a no, thing no, no, no. so yeah it is thanks to those that uh that that probably ever ever happened i don't even know what other uh scenario it would uh it would happen under but uh, so anyway, so on this this new one, which is the first in a while, and uh, I'm probably I'm probably gonna say I didn't go to the one two days ago after my show because <laughs> the last the last one, like I don't know, like I've never known a ton of local furries, but like I know I know like my group. And and they're all good, but there's like a bunch more that I don't know, and this was very apparent there because I'm like I don't know anyone, and I I maybe see like a few people I've recognized before. Uh, the one thing that was funny is that like everyone there, what's the cutoff? I'm young people, everyone under, I don't know if the if the line is like. 23 to 25 but around that line everyone under that age does not have a gender yeah that sounds all right every like every single one i'm like what's that what's that what's that what's that i'm like yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy <laughs> so anyway i went to the show with i went to the show i went to the party with uh someone who came to my show who i have been instructed by my lawyer to keep nameless <laughs> yeah uh and he knows more people than me and has been more active in the community than me. But even he like, it was like, I don't know close to 90% of people here. So I'm like, wow, I don't feel bad at all. That turns out just no one who's cool <laughs> knows these people. <laughs> but so it was mainly just me and him uh, standing around talking for most of the time we weren't even there for that and we got there late because it was after the boom show oh yeah so um, you're there probably midnight yeah probably got there yeah probably midnight yeah yeah i kept my gear on because why not i'm dressed for the occasion you're making a gross face yeah because you sweated in your gear and then you just wore your gear i don't sweat then what's the point of having a walking around tail scott if you're not going to wear the walking around tail my sweat comes out through my pop hats uh-huh <laughs> Don't you know how we sweat? Um, but then it would just be a tail because I already had the whole thing on. I'm like, wow, what do I need to change? It's the it's the one time when I can go to two functions in the same night and wear a tiger singlet. <laughs> that is true. Um, so yeah, it was just me and him talking for a while until we got tired of it and left. But um, while we were there, uh, he's like, well, it is, it is sort of a drug party. So... I would like to go do cocaine in the bathroom, but I need you <laughs> to come in the bathroom with me and keep me company so I don't feel like a junkie. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. so we did that three times. <laughs> All right. I, and, and as I recall, what, like he did one, what, maybe the third snort, the, like the third time in the bathroom, like he, he, he did it real bad. <laughs> He's like, <"Bleh!" laughs> and I, and I, I literally didn't do any. I, I was just, I was uh, moral support. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause if you, if you do Coke when a friend's there, <laughs> then it's yeah. just not, then it's just hanging out. Yeah. They're just yeah. hanging out at the party. But if you go into the bathroom to do it by yourself, yeah, that's, you gotta, that's pretty sad. That's a problem. That's yeah. sad. Yeah. Well, also, uh, in this climate 
with this economy with uh people we know who are in places of accessibility and distribution Go um on. might not want to do cocaine currently correct yep agree or or like anytime soon yeah, probably, like, I will probably never do a street drug, just because yeah. it seems like they're all trying to kill you. I think so, I guess yeah. that's, that's reasonable. Which sucks, because I would love some safe opiates. Yeah, me too, me too. I still got a couple of the bad ones in the bathroom. Yeah, like, they they have fentanyl in them. That's why they're but, still in the bathroom. Yeah, but, like, they won't... Well, they didn't kill me. I just didn't like them. That's true. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the the jittery. I like. I felt nauseous. I. I yeah, I kind of. I, felt nauseous I never too, yeah. felt nauseous with like prescription oxy. I, I. In fact, I felt lovely. The only side effect being literally not being able to shit, but a small price to pay for feeling lovely all the time. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I totally would get why people are, get addicted to Oh, them. yeah, but also don't. Like, you, well, it's too late. You fucking ruined it for everyone, nah. fucking junkies. But wouldn't it be nice if there were, like, just ni- 90s opiate accessibility? Yeah. Just like, oh, you, like, sprained your toe? Here's three bottles of Vicodin. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. I'll take them all at once. Dr. House. Dr. House? Loved Vicodin. Loved it. <laughs> the only way he could function. Yeah. He was better... With it. Yep. Well, you gotta clean it at a time. Remember when he did ketamine and it fixed yes, his Yes. That was pretty great. God, I love that show. Ketamine didn't fix my arm. Nope. I'll fix your arm. Give, give it here. <laughs> Yank shit. <laughs> third. Surgery. Third. What surgery. Would even third. Surgery. What if you did that? Because there's a steel plate there. I'd bend the steel plate. <laughs> <laughs> and then your arm would permanently be oh my God. in L. <laughs> that sounds terrible well don't, don't give me your arm then i won't i'm never giving you my arm again you've you've lost arm privileges that's fine yeah <laughs> jesus christ what else is going on i don't know should we get to what we're supposed to be getting to instead of dicking around taking off our shirts and kissing that's after the podcast oh. that's not for them <laughs> it's not for that's them. for us i have more news okay did you know i don't know if anyone told you keep it a secret between you and myself uh-huh this is the news uh, okay. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think this is some gay podcast mm. called The Worst Year of Our Lives. Yep. Pretty accurate, but, but also... But also it's the news. Also it's the news. Yeah. So, heads up. Mm-hmm. Um, friend of the podcast. Mm, I'll, be the ba- I'll be the judge of that. Um, wife, uh, you, you would know her as uh, Nikechi Amare Diallo. Correct. It, Jews, it, Jews give me the international. What are you talking about, face? Yep. Oh, you, that, that's not what you know her as? Uh, maybe you know her as her previous name before she changed it. Uh-oh. Uh, Rachel Dolezal. Oh! Number one, can you believe that's what she changed her name to? Well, if anybody's going to do it. The blackest ass name well, I've ever heard. Well, she's Black Scott. She's not Black Scott. Oh. I'm mm. Black Scott. <laughs> well, you're partially Black Scott. <laughs> I'm enough. Yeah. You're like 30% Black. Oh, that actually reminds me of... Uh, I, you know what? I I hate to do this. Because you know some people who d- just... <laughs> Are beeps. No, no. Some people oh. just like knock it off. But every now and mm. then they, they do like a real good yeah. one. But you can't... You don't want to encourage oh, them. Oh, we know a couple people like that. We do. One of their, And one of them is Sonics. <laughs> okay. But Sonex has been straight crushing it, like posting, like if I was in charge of the YMS Clips channel, yeah. like the last three he's posted are the three I would have posted. Okay. He posted legit like the three funniest things from the last three. Okay, okay. Uh, one of which was about me being black. So let me, let me find that. Uh, I guess it's, let's say it's this one. Y'all want to hear a cool, a cool ad? That's the largest woman I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I've seen that one. I've seen that one. <laughs> You've seen that one? I've seen that one. It's popped up on mine before, too. Can we agree? Uh, can we go back to the hood of the van? Ah, uh, hood. Nope, that's... <laughs> can we agree that's not how you spell spicy? <laughs> that one's good. This one's good, too. Okay. Spicy is spelled S-P-I-C-E-Y. So that's... I think that's all you need visually context. Just checking. They've really gone all in on super spicy. They. It's, it's supposed to be the slur. <laughs> <laughs> is what they 
Ah, oh, that's real funny. I God damn it. it. That's but that's the spell. That's real. There, yeah, there should be like a hyphen before the <laughs> ey. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, wow? I didn't say it. I didn't say it. The game said it. Damn it. Now look what you've done. You blew uh, my cover. You blew my cover. What the fuck? Is you blew your own cover. Okay, so that wasn't it, but that what I did enjoy that. Super spice. SP. Super. Mm, e. Just, mm. just the uh, sp spicy without the E-Y. <laughs> if you catch my job. Where's the one about me being black? It must be... I like a podcast where you go on and play clips of you from another podcast. It's Inception. It's it's very Anyone bold of you. Anyway, hopefully that doesn't pick up too hard. No, I don't anyway, a Adam was reading a thing. Uh, he said the F slur and we clapped. If we register our race... And sexuality <laughs> and gender with the government. We should be allowed. I should be allowed to say the, to say the F slur. Yes. Yeah. And I mm -mm. should. <laughs> well, well, I'm the one with a brown fursona, so I get that pass. <laughs> <laughs> what color are my stripes again? Black is nice. Black is fucking <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fun. Uh, so, how did we get here? Dolezal, Sonics. Her new name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, yeah, come on, lady. Uh, apparently, she does. Uh, anyway, that, that the, the name change was in 2016. Uh, I think not that long after. Her, uh, it was October 2016. I just looked it up. Her initial incident. Uh, but she's in the news again. Uh, because, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Diallo, the, the fucking balls on this one, <laughs> uh, Rachel Dolezal, the white woman infamous for claiming to be black, fired from her teaching job over her OnlyFans account. I knew she had one. If that isn't the gift that keeps I on giving, she had one. Yeah. I don't know what is. Did you hear the reason? So she legally changed her name to the Nigerian phrase that means gift of God. Oh, my God. She later clarified that she still intends to use the name Rachel Dolezal as her public persona, but she changed her name to have a better chance of landing work. Well, yeah, you can't. If yeah, if you would like to have a job ever again, you don't. Yep. Uh, you shouldn't keep being Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> yep. well, now, now, of course, I got to look it up. The OnlyFans? Yep. Is this going to be the first OnlyFans you ever pay for? Is Rachel I'm not going to pay for it, but like, <laughs> Scott, I got... Here's, here's a little bit of information I have for you about the internet. Mm -hmm. You it's... can find everything for free. <laughs> what? Everybody hacks everything. Drew, I have... so I am financially crippled by porn subscriptions. <laughs> of all the people. Are, are you... <laughs> um... I think she's kind of fatter now. She is. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a lot of non nudes. That seems like her style. She uh, seems like she'd be an OnlyFans coward, uh, which is most women, to be honest. Uh, no, there's there's some. Uh, I don't know that I'm like very interested in looking at more than the one I'm looking at because it's not it's nothing to write home about. Hmm. It's fine, but also you. The the worst part of her is her face. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, like, here's... Hmm. I'm, what do I... How do I say? Like, she does actually... Like, I understand why... That's, that, that is a spread... That is the insides. Vagina. That's yeah. up in them guts, as the kids say. Gross. Um, like, she does look black. <laughs> like, what's her deal? Well, it's because she's been actively working on looking black is it like that's her do it like that's not her natural i don't think so i think she's a regular white lady what a fucking who's just been doing like tanning and the makeup and what an absolute the... fucking psycho complete psycho that's yeah <laughs> that's bonkers rachel doll is all the white woman and then really laying it out there cnn the white woman and former naacp which of course stands for the uh, national no. association for the advancement of colored people mm, that's not where i thought you were going but okay the net what the national association for the advancement of child pornography yeah oh 
That too. That's you're the president of that. <laughs> uh, she was a charter president who courted major controversy nearly 10 years ago for falsely claiming she was black, has been fired from her position with an Arizona school district over an OnlyFans account. Dolezal was employed with the Catalina Foothills School District as an after school instructor. Oh, she doesn't even get to even before the OnlyFans. They didn't even let her like teach regular. She was an after school yeah, yeah, instructor. Yeah. But was let go this week after administrators were made aware of her apparent presence on OnlyFans, a social media subscription platform for whores. (laughs) Interesting verbiage, CNN. CNN knows what they're talking about. As a publication, a link to an OnlyFans account is accessible through a bio in Dolezal's verified Instagram account. The link to OnlyFans account, updated as recently as February 14th, Valentine's Day, (laughs) blocks images for non-subscribers, but contains identifying information and captions alluding to adult and nude, in quotation marks, contents. Uh Welcome to my OnlyFans page, where I post creative content and give fans a more intimate look into my life, the page reads. That's, uh, be more direct with your marketing. Yeah, and also, just go to Google, type in Rachel Dolezal OnlyFans, <laughs> go to image, and you can see everything. Hmm. Nobody, I, nobody except for people that, like, I mean, obviously people that aren't famous or very popular on the site. Yeah. Everybody's is in there. Yeah. Like, unless you're, like, just some random woman who has, like, six subscribers and they're all people that know you. And, like, <laughs> like you're not going to find those. Yeah. But, like, anybody else you can find. Mm-hmm. It's not that hard. And also, it's not secure. No. The uh, district's director of alumni and community relations told CNN that the posts are contrary to our district's use of social media by district employees policy and our staff (laughs) ethics policy. Okay, I was going to say, that's the problem? Yes. That staff aren't allowed to use social media? Uh, They're not allowed to use social media in that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, CNN has reached out to Dolezal for comment. Uh, That's not her name. Still waiting. Uh, Ms. Diallo. (laughs) Nikechi Diallo. Nikechi Diallo. Come on. Yeah. The balls. That is so funny. This. Picking a Nigerian name to call yourself is very funny. That is, that is egregious. That is very funny. Dolezal made headlines in 2015 when it was revealed that despite leading the Spokane chapter of the NAACP and claiming a detailed heritage as a person of color, Dolezal's parents were both white with European ancestry. In the ensuing media storm, Dolezal never denied her white heritage, but claimed she still identifies as black. And it goes on, but I think uh, that's all the uh, funniest stuff. Yeah, there's the uh, Nikechi Amare Diallo, uh, shortened the shortened Igbo name of Nigerian origin and means gift of God. I mean, you are a gift of God in terms of funny news. Yep. So... Credit where it's due. Man, she she's a real, like, next level crazo, too. Because she, like, defrauded uh, the Washington State Department of Social and Health nice. for uh, food stamps. Tight. Where she received... Yeah, she was, like, she was jobless and on yeah. food stamps. Yeah. yeah. But it turned out she actually wasn't. Oh, funny. That uh, she had been... She had received, like... Uh, oh, know, yes, like, Dozal claimed she was jobless no. and on food stamps uh, in 2017. But then she... Yeah, and then her... When she published her book. She oh, like funny title. $84,000. Funny title for the book. Uh, I don't think I see it. In full color. Oh. <laughs> Finding my place in a black and white world. Um, oh, I don't know. No. Say what race you actually are. That's stop cute. lying. cute. <laughs> Gosh, that's cute. God, that's cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't actually. I mean, her brother's name is Ezra. And Miller? Yep. And her. Oh, her yeah, her brother's name is her other brother's name is Joshua. Um two strong black men. Yeah, I would assume George? possibly George. of the Jewish faith. I'm gonna say maybe. I don't know. So she's like an Alana Glazer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, she is. Because Alana could in the right lighting. Yeah, with a tan black. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, I, uh, I get it. I guess he's a college professor. And, I'm a college professor. And uh, apparently, they were brought up in a strict cult-like Pentecostal family. Oh, so she was. Uh, she's crazy by nurture, not nature. Yes. Naughty by nature, crazy by nurture. Naughty by nature. Did the Shane McMahon theme? Yes, they did. Here comes the money. Here comes on money. 
<laughs> he comes on money. No, that's uh, Themis Matsukas. Ah, of course. If, if money was picnic tables. <laughs> or the dog. Or the dog. The dog. dog's name was money. <laughs> what are you doing? No, I'm just coming on money. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I have to call back to the last episode. Good for us. It's almost like we recorded it an hour ago. He comes on money. <laughs> So fresh in our minds. So fresh in our minds. As, as we it's fa- great that we could remember an episode from as last As we're famously week. good at remembering things that happened a week ago. Yep. Well, that's, and then we get called out about it, and then we go, did we talk about that? I don't know what we're talking no, about. No, no, no. So, an hour in. Hour in, you Should we just end the podcast now and do uh, Made in the Abyss in two weeks? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so that you have to try and remember something you watched oh, three weeks ago? Yeah, let's maybe do it now. <laughs> I think it's in everyone's best interest for us. I mean, us. if they care about hearing about our Made in Abyss content. I think they should. Uh, brought to us from a fine gentleman by the name of Where Tib, who, request, Tib who requested us. Uh, gonna, I feel like I talked about this two weeks ago. I guess that's when we were first going to talk gonna about make, it. I'm going to break Where Tib's Tib Fib. Oh, shit. Bad leg. Bad leg. Uh, who brought us this? The entire season two of made in the abyss so we have now could have just been a movie at least in abridged form have seen all of the current animated made in the abyss content because yep. there was there was a season one that you could either watch as a tv season or as two movies which we did that and we were given the two movies then there is just there's a standalone movie that comes between season one and two which we did pretty recently and now it, now season two in not in movie form in 12 or technically 13 because 12 is a double yeah uh although it didn't feel like a double like it didn't feel long or double well i almost watched the whole thing in one sitting because we were gonna do uh half and half you were gonna do half and half how much is a half and half i don't remember (laughs) three three (laughs) dollars something like that um one dollar to touch it one Dollar to two dollars to watch, watch me, me touch, touch it. it. <laughs> One dollar to touch. No, I don't remember. I don't remember <laughs> the exact phrasing. Yeah, so I I watched the six I was going to for that week, and then just kept watching until like four thirty in the morning when I was like part way through episode eleven, <laughs> and only yeah only didn't finish it because it was four thirty, but then didn't actually get to the last episode and a half until uh just the other day so that that's fresher than the rest but uh i think it's all pretty good and also because i read a full plot synopsis of uh of all the episodes uh earlier today so it's it's there so uh yeah so this is made in abyss golden city of the scorching sun one dollar to look at it two dollars to touch it yeah three dollars to watch me touch it $4 $4 to touch it while I touch my toes. $5 to touch it while I touch your toes. <laughs> $10 for an HJ. $12 for a BJ. Yeah. And $15 for a ZJ. What's a ZJ? If you don't know, you can't afford it. Shit. Uh, so I like... I like that I lost your train of thought just by reading that. That's yep. good. That, that, that means you're in a good mental state right now to do all of Made in the Abyss. 100%. I like that you have notes for this. No, that's nothing. Don't worry about <laughs> that's it. nothing. Because sometimes you don't have notes. And sometimes I, I do, sometimes I don't. It like, depend, depends on how invested I am in talking about the thing. I, I like it when you do. Uh, so we we start off, uh, as all great television seasons start off, with severe child abuse. We start off with a group of new characters. Yes. That I'm we like, don't know anything about. Should I? So I was like, oh, is season three just like not affiliated with the rest of it? Or yeah, season two or like, is not there, affiliated with the rest of it? Is there one it? other in-between thing we didn't see Yeah, exactly. Or it was very I'm confusing. Like, I thing. don't know these people. Yeah. It's like a group of treasure hunters yeah. or pirates, I guess. Kind of, Who yeah. are like on the ocean to start. Like they're not even anywhere near the abyss. No. They're away on the ocean yeah. sailing. They've got the compass. They got the golden compass. Oh, I don't that's think a movie. I think it's a blue compass, actually. It's a blue compass. <laughs> but yeah, we we start with uh, kind of the main girl of this yes timeline, and uh, she she's an orphan of some sort. They, this show loves orphans. Loves orphans. Hates parents. Hates parents. Yeah, it's like Disney. Yeah, and everyone's uh, got dead dead or missing parents. Yeah, so, uh, and then, like, some 
thug guy took her in and uh, appears to, uh, I don't know, sexually abuse her regularly. <laughs> yeah, I, I I saw that happen. And then it took me a second to register. Yeah, yeah. And I had to pause it. And I wrote, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, we com- did. I just completely gloss over the fact that it appears as if he was sexually assaulting a child. He was. He a hundred percent was. Yeah. So, uh, she- which is a main feature of this season uh-huh. is babies having babies. Babies having babies. Uh, you hate to see it. I, I guess get in while the getting's good. No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. I'm. I'm, oh, I'm the bad I'm guy. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so she uh, eventually uh, wisely gets out of there mm-hmm. with uh, with a magic-y compass that, that he got at some point. And she, they don't really explain how she got it from him. No. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess, yeah, she, she just took it. Grabbed maybe. it on the way out. Yeah. And hooked up with, uh, yeah, like some kind of some kind of suicide squad. I believe they refer to themselves as the suicide squad. <laughs> well... That, yeah, that, sorry, that is one of the notes. There's, I had stuff written before it, uh, but yeah. I don't know how important it is, the order in which these things are said. Yeah, yeah. But yes, they do refer to and themselves. And we, we don't need to give an entire 12-episode plot synopsis. No, but she goes, yeah, so uh, she meets up with the pirates. Yeah. And then they go down there, and then they refer to themselves as the Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah. Um, they, they've, uh, th- they're sort of like people people without a country yeah and like maybe some have been banished or whatever yes. or it's it's a ragtag group yeah set out for adventure uh at one point when they do find when they they meet no who do they oh, these notes are from two weeks ago or last week yeah so when they meet so the the, the compass yeah. uh the way the way it tells direction is it stands straight up. It's like a 3D compass yeah. and stands straight up and down at the abyss. Yes. So it will tell you if you're getting closer to yes. the abyss, basically. So that's how they get there. And also, did we know until now that the abyss was on an island? No. Yeah. Right. News to me. Yeah. So that's fun. I guess that's why new... you were on the open ocean. Yeah. So it's fun. New info. Um. I don't remember the exact context for this, but there will be me uh, quoting a line and then saying disgusting or gross sure. uh, quite a bit throughout the course of this. Yeah, uh, I can see that. Um, my line was, I, I don't remember. I think it's just the main girl when they get somewhere is referred to as a used up girl like you. And I was like, <laughs> eh, disgusting. <laughs> they could tell. And that the comes guy- back like at the, towards the towards the end the guy's stink was still on her uh yeah 100 percent. yeah gross gross <laughs> um so then they meet they get to the island they get to the island there are people who live on the island people who live on the island and uh robot robots and robots or protect no uh what are they called scavengers no seekers no uh interference interference units, interference units. that's yeah. the one you got there those are in the abyss, though, not... Oh, sorry, yes, those are in the abyss. Yeah, because yeah. there's... Yeah, there, there's... They meet, like... They land the, on the island, yeah, And yeah. meet the surface-level people. Yes. And amongst the surface-level people is a little girl... Yes. ...who has been determined to be barren. Yes. And thus worthless. Yes. And so they're like... Well, oh, and then they're, like... It, they're, they're investigating this girl, and... They should be investigating 311. They should. And uh, he just, like naturally thinks to like lift up her skirt and check for tattoos on her legs not okay that's a weird that's a weird yeah. first impression to give but she did have them so yes but I it's guess. a weird uh yeah. like move to do when you first, first meet yeah. something so yeah so she's been like marked as cursed basically because yeah. she she's in because she's bare because she's an eight-year-old who can't have children yeah <laughs> which is it that's such a weird overlaying like because it comes back it comes back in the middle of the season yep comes back at the end of the season like why is that such a focal point of the whole situation i don't i don't get it yeah uh i the i the next line i think is aimed at her okay by one of them that says look at her body it's so supple yeah there was some supple body talk for sure most definitely 
So yeah, so basically, so the the island natives, or at least people who have been there longer than this new troop, yeah, uh, are like, yeah. So the, this this girl's trash. So she and yeah, take her. And, we don't and, care. And the, and the, the, these guys, their goal is to like explore the abyss. Yeah. So she can, yeah, just in into the pit with you also yes. because uh, we have you're of no use to us. Yes, but and like we don't know what time frame this is taking. Place. We have we have no idea. Yeah. yeah. So this could be like. Uh, neg and or nig and easy, uh, easy fella. <laughs> reg and them are could could regu already, could, regu could already regu. be in there, regu. or oh this God. could be in the future, this could be in the past. Who I knows? Just, I want to say it so bad. You should. <laughs> yeah, let's speak a little, just to revisit in case this is for some reason the first time you're listening to us to talk talk about, about Maiden Abyss. Maiden Abyss. Uh, the, the robot boy's name is Reg. But reg, R E R E G, uh, but the way you say, and I feel like they they hit it hard on purpose. I feel like they know what they're doing. The way R's work in Japanese, and just the way the whole thing flows off the tongue, it sounds less like reg and more like another word, like a word. <laughs> uh, I know it's the, I know it's an N word. Necktie, nectar, <laughs> nectu. It's definitely an N-word. Definitely an N-word. Uh, yes. Uh, this also, in the first episode, begins the long-standing... The season-long theme? Theme of going to the bathroom. Yes. Because there is a ton of bathroom talk. Yeah, what did I write? Uh, oh, look. Uh, vomit, blood, piss, and shit in the first 15 minutes. Yes, there is. <laughs> Yes, there is. Oh, just all, all the body juices. And don't worry, there won't be any more diarrhea in the whole episode, the whole season. Yeah. Eventually, we cut back to the timeline we're familiar with and the characters were. That's the next with. episode. Yeah, that's. It, the, it happens in the first episode. Does it happen in the first episode? Yeah, there's uh, at like at the. Oh, end. it is because they make it to yeah, the. Yeah, because she. Yeah, yeah. She she shits in the orb in episode one. <laughs> that's right. That didn't need to happen. They did, no, that, none of it needs to happen. Like nothing, ma nothing no, stemmed from that. No, she's just like I have to shit, and they're like, should okay. I wait until? Should I wait until we get off the orb from yeah. level five to level six abyss? And yeah, they're like, like, well, we could be here a while, so you should just shit, just go. And then they got yeah. there like two two minutes later, and so she does, yep. and that's all that happens with that. That's it. Yeah, like I like this show a lot. I do question the tastes of some of the writers and artists. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Um, they, so I think I think it's yeah, it's everything I had for the first episode. Yeah, so the first episode ends with the ones we know making get, it to making it to the sixth and, and presumably five, final yeah. layer yeah. of the abyss. Although they're like from which they can never return, lest they be turned into furries. And God forbid that <laughs> happens. But it's like or mon or monsters who can never or, die, amorphous immortal yeah. monsters who experience nothing but pain. <laughs> is it worth the risk? Kinda. It kind of is. Yeah, yeah. But like they get to the sixth layer. Yeah. And there is clearly so much more down, right? <laughs> like there, yeah. there, there's like gaping voids. It appears to like, go for yeah. It. Like I mean, as is, is the is the sixth layer is the last layer that you can like livable that Maybe. you can like uh, yeah. s the be alive. Yeah. But in. there do appear to be more. Yeah, there are really. more places to go. Well, even when they go, I mean, later when they go inside, they're still go like they're going down. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. So there's clearly more. Well, yeah. Where? Yeah. You're not at the bottom. Yeah. I, I feel like they and they made a point of like not showing a conclusive bottom. Yep. Like you are a conclusive bottom. <laughs> well, non-penetrative. But bottom nonetheless. Correct. Yeah. Nothing's happening. You're not topping it. Nothing's happening. Clear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Not at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> not even a little bit. Um, season two, or episode two, my first note is just like, I feel like they're all, there's always talk of eating the creatures they find. They love eating stuff. Like they're always talking about, can they eat this it or the should we eat it? Anti-vegan show I've ever seen. It is. Like, Hey, there's a new living thing I've never seen before. Yep. What's it taste like? What does it taste like? <laughs> yeah. That's something they say that in, in several different things. And usually it's good. And usually it is. Usually it's very good. <laughs> um, they're like, Ooh, it's kind of sweet. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, a lot of that. Is there anything that... No. So they're still on their own. They haven't really run into anybody yet. No, it's uh, um, Rico the girl, Reg the robot boy, uh, and Nanachi, Nanachi the cool furry. The cool furry. Yeah. Um, I love that Nanachi runs on all fours. Yes. She doesn't have to. Doesn't have to, but does. But she does. She gets it. Because she can. She gets it. You can run on all fours, you run on all fours. I do on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> what, like a six-year-old? Yeah. <laughs> right. Seb's probably judging you, too. He, he gives me a look. Your arms are too short. You look stupid. <laughs> he probably does think that. Yeah. But like, I think... <laughs> this judging eyes. Unless, you're, unless you've TF'd... Yeah, like you, you could never be a human who runs on all fours because you either have to have short, no, shorter, stubbier legs or right. long, stupid arms. Yeah, which would you have? Shorter, shorter, like stumpier, shorter legs, so that you that you like can just eh, or stupidly oversized long arms. Oh no, shorten the legs. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I don't, go, I don't want maned wolf. I'm legs. gonna go main wolf ar- arms. Really? Yeah, I think Too so. Too long. No, because you could still stand up like normal. You don't look like an LP. <laughs> No, I'm fine with compacting my legs. Get my I mean, haunches I mean, even more powerful. I mean, you do have chicken legs. Dare so I, I say? <laughs> yeah. No, I think you go longer arms. I mean, I know it would look ridiculous, <laughs> but I feel like you'd still have a regular body structure. Yeah. And then just long arms, right? I think like, long, ar- well, long arms look weirder if, than if compacted if you legs. Be- if you bend over at 90 degrees. Yeah. Uh, face down, ass up. Sure, that's and the way you, I like And you put fun. your hands down. Uh-huh. You're not that far from the ground. Yeah. So your arms are only growing like another, I don't know, like 10 inches. Yeah, maybe? but couldn't you say that's the same for compacting the legs? No, because your legs would have to be so... Yeah, I guess that's true. But I think your right. legs being shorter with your torso being the same size and your arms being the same size hmm. look stupid. Whereas if you had the same length of legs, same torso, and much longer arms, then your body looks normal. You just have kind of long arms. And then you could dunk. <laughs> and then you could dunk. And and we're talking... And this is a uh, optional bipedal or quadrupedal, or this is full quadrupedal? I think it's optional. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would prefer. I, I would love to be able to like confidently do both. Yes. N- Nanachi style. I think. Yeah. I think Nanachi style. But like just a, walking around, walking around yeah. two legs. She has, she has slightly longer arms than yeah. normal. But yeah. We'll walk around. Look at me. I'm people. Oh, yeah. running on four legs. Oh, is he, do you need something off of Bitch. that nine foot high shelf? Oh, I got it for you. <laughs> and like, do you need me to jump from the free throw line and dunk the ball? <laughs> Done. You know what? Let us know. Get, let us know the comments, uh, the YouTube comments, uh, b- direct messages to us. Don't do that. Just do YouTube comments, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or give us a call live on the air, 591-ROCK, 591-ROLL. And uh, let us know what you think. Uh, for Longer arms or shorter legs for <laughs> ideal uh, quadrupedal running, but also bipedal living. Yes. Yeah. Optional or full bipedal. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know. Um, I didn't care for them deep frying the living hatchlings. It was very unsettling. Because they don't really they don't die. die. <laughs> they don't die. And you're just boiling them alive, but they don't die. Yeah. And then they eat them. Yeah. They're it was like, very unsettling. They're like, oh, an egg. Oh, the egg definitely has like alive things in it. Yeah. We let's, should eat it. Let's, let's fry them. Okay. They're still, they're fried and still moving. Well, we've done all we can do. So now we just eat them. Now we just eat them. Yeah. We're going to eat them no matter what. Yeah. We love eating new things. Yeah. There, there is a lot of that in this world of like there Im- really is immortal things that can't die. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else we got? Um, the terrible mail balloon that was the worst decision anyone's ever made. <laughs> uh, we're gonna send this all the way to the top layer. They, they often say it doesn't make it all the way to the top layer, but let's try it. And it made it like ten feet. Yeah, and then something swooped in and took it, <laughs> and it was like. Yeah, that went exactly the way that I would expect it to go, you idiots. Yeah, yeah they tried to send a letter to, like, yeah. the surface. Yeah, do you, like, do you know why nobody else ever sends a letter to the surface? Because it doesn't Cause, make it. Because shit like that. Because you're stupid. Also, I, I don't really understand the physics of, like, even layer five to layer six alone, because layer five has uh, an aquatic part yep they, and like grass and stuff yeah and, but like they on the way down they go through oh, a big yes. long sea sea of corpses that yes. is a sea full of corpses yes. 
Uh, so, I, like, how does the balloon one enter and two get through that? Magic. There's, I guess, it, there's a magic. magic. <laughs> I guess there's a magic element. Oh, magic. <laughs> yeah. Um, they they catch a nap, and yeah. and, uh, and they're like, oh, someone broke in and defaced our letter. That, that the yeah. letter was gone. Yes, because it because uh, like a bur- a mean bird took it. Yeah. Uh, someone goddamn avians. Yeah, someone broke in and defaced our letter and stole my whistle, and took our hair and fur and <laughs> sewed it into a dead animal's butt. <laughs> this is a strange prank. Some unknown party has pulled on us. I think the line is, does that thing have its butt sewn shut? Yes. I believe is the line. That they and say. the answer was yes. Was yes. It and did. it was stuffed with their hair and fur. Yes. Which may seem evil, but the intentions much are like when they're revealed much later. As was the theft of the whistle. As was the theft of the whistle. But yeah. yeah. Much later, it's revealed that it's not ominous or evil, but it seems like yeah. it is. And then the letter was there with like a like symbols yes. drawn on. And it was like it, they had drawn pictures of themselves. Yeah. And then symbols were drawn on the pictures of yes. themselves. Yeah. Well, yeah, and which we also, it, now that I'm thinking about it, is also, because, like, Reg has the symbol that is drawn... Haku. Haku on him, which, yeah, yeah. so. Uh, and then uh, they finally meet some people. Yeah, they finally find their way into, like, a big, like, sort of big column. Yep. Thing. Yep. Uh, with- Where they meet a talking dragon robot that looked like a baseball body. He is animated so yeah he well is. yeah he is his movement yeah. looks awesome everything looks like it would it like mechanical but fully operational yeah like, the way that the jaw swings it's the way that the body turns great yeah it was really good it was really really good yeah i was so impressed with that um, i mean a lot a, a lot of the animation in this is very good oh yeah it, it looks really really good the and they're like and and, and like the, so this guy like he looks inorganic he looks like yes yeah yeah he, he and like is all, very robotic and all the most of the other people they come across in this or think village creatures. basically and yeah. yeah they're like they're somewhere between like robotic good go, well, not even no because oh, yeah. they're, they're all organic basically they're yeah. somewhere between like nanachi level because they're all hollows, yes, they're hollows which yeah. is like what happens to people with the curse between yes. layers five and six um, Which in the previous movie was what they were using to fuel shit. Um, yeah, sort of. Yes. Yeah. And uh, well, yeah, they're they're using the sort of the victims the, the of the victims. Curse of, sorry, shit. the victims of yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so all the other villagers are like they're clearly like organic uh, people things. Like you have some sort of Nanachi level, like high high level hollows like Nanachi, yeah, and then going down to blobs. M- midi level yeah. blobs, blobs, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then yeah, and then this guy uh, who's yeah, it's like there's like strings and yep. and stuff. He's, he's like, like a big marionette sort of, yeah, kind of. Uh, and he's like, and and they're like, are you even like? <laughs> Are you a person? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he's like, oh, uh, no, I, I understand. Uh, my actual body is just made of smells. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, I've constructed this around, uh, around it so I can uh, move and be a thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, wow, that's really interesting. Very of, weird. Also, a lot of smells in this season. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. then my next note is... Uh, like the nice smelling fluffy one it was referring to Nanachi, and I was like, um, excuse me, uh, furry smell like shit. <laughs> uh, Scott note from appears to be episode four. I wish to be referred to as <laughs> nice smelling fluffy one, well, please. Better start smelling nice. Piece of shit. I smell like I literally, no. I literally smell like a tiger. Thanks. To That's the, uh, the two, fine people that is the at zoologists. Two spots you've sprayed. The rest of you smells like crap. <laughs> it's like what? you've been bathing in poop. <laughs> Uh, who would, oh, I, there's, and there's sort of like a marketplace. I wrote the hollow bazaar. The hollow bazaar. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, cause I assume that's where I got this from. Uh, oh, Hey, can I buy your hair or skin or blood? <laughs> <laughs> like my hair. <laughs> Wanna buy it. Glad you like my hair. Wanna buy it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't remember exactly what my next note is, but there's, child human trafficking 
I think it's just that they wanted to buy their the, body parts. The, and like a human child is a very high yeah, that's value. Right. That's right. I think that's so like, yeah, it's kind of revealed that all of the hollows inside the, the you know, the, the, the cylinder. Yeah. They value things like that are at, at like a different values of the things they want and need and obsess over. Yeah. And then they're willing to like make trades and barter and like, yeah, but, it, but like, and that's how they all kind of got to what they are. Cause like some of them have like, f like robot, like mechanical body parts and yeah. stuff. And that it's from trading things to other hollows who value, like I value legs greatly. <laughs> yeah. So I'll trade you this for your legs and then yep. they trade their legs or whatever. Yeah. And they, they say something to the effect of like the, the curse turns you into a representation of your desires yeah. to which I say, fucking curse me up. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> so, so you're going to become a 10 year old boy. <laughs> that's not, that's not nice. True. Oh, 11 year old boy? <laughs> Nine year old boy? Oh. Hmm. I'll give you whatever you want. We're running a Money? nice. Women? <laughs> Men? <laughs> We're running a nice family podcast you know here, and you have to go and make it ugly. Curse me up, too. I'd like to be dead. <laughs> My greatest desire is to be a corpse. <laughs> a corpse. But not a living corpse. No, a no. Dead Just corpse. dead. I want to be dead, dead. and let's, buried in let's, the ground. Let's be clear. Tiny bugs are feasting on my ass. I want to be dead. Yeah. Kill me. The options are living and dead. I choose dead. Every time. Um, um, the, all, then all of the hollows in the bazaar, Sea Reg, immediately begin to molest him. Yeah, yeah. They just start groping all of his body because yeah, they they're like obsessed with what he has going. Yeah, they no get talk of his dick in this, though. Surprisingly, surprisingly, little very little talk of his dick, dick in this. Yeah, I mean, there is a dick talk in the next episode because I have the note written down. Sure, but uh, I couldn't believe that they didn't. They weren't like, oh, and he's got such a huge dick, and then try and like pull on it or something because they do that. They did that in <laughs> they both do. movies. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of focus on Reg's uh, genitalia, uh, anatomically correct robot boy parts. Yep. That make real piss and presumably shit and come. Probably shit and come. <laughs> and then the top 1% will steal it from you. That's true. Uh, you got hardworking Americans. Yep. So during all of this, a random like blob like mushy thing. Yes. Uh, grabs mania. Yeah. And proceeds how's to. The, how's uh, the blob's vocabulary? Uh, I believe it says ma or ma. And, ma. and what else? Ma. And then? Ma. <laughs> Ma. Yeah. I turns out that it's just they just call it Ma by the end. Yeah. Because that's all it can say. Yeah. But uh I, I don't know what it is, but I, I liked the voice acting of Ma. It was like the right kind of It was yeah. Like, it was very Pokemon. Innocent Japanese girl sounding. Now it, I sound like a creep. That's not what I meant. Well, I don't know. You kind of are a creep. It it fit for what they were going for. Bad news, Scott. Kind of a creep. I guess I'm a creep now. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we meet Ma, M and three A's, three A's, sometimes seven A's, sometimes a lot of A's. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, so Ma grabs Mania and is like, Mania's the little pet oh, the little, thing sorry, the little that pet. belonged to, uh, Prushka, who was the girl in the, uh, Mo the second in movie, the, in the fifth layer in the last layer. movie we watched, uh, who is sacrificed, who is now just the whistle, the whistle. Yeah. Um, but during the commotion of stealing Mania, uh, mushes her. Well, yeah, uh, Ma does a little uh, mice and men petting the rabbit too mm -hmm. hard. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, uh, I, I wrote it. I'm like, oh, and we killed Mania. Lovely. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh, no, uh, immediate correction. Uh, just prolapsed her anus. It's just a prolapsed butthole. <laughs> yeah. Which I uh, happens I guess, quite frequently from what I hear. Apparently, yeah. So I, I guess, know, but... <laughs> Mania's species uh, bones are very soft, so they don't really break. But if you push, if you squish them too hard, all the stuff inside just needs somewhere to go. Yeah, so it come, out comes out of the butt. So that I think they just uh, poked it back in, and Mania's okay. But would, hmm? Hmm? I was just going to say more plot things. Would you like to have a very serious conversation about how terrible a prolapsed anus sounds, and how I hope it never happens? I, to I me? would wish for death then. Uh huh. Anyways, continue. Yeah, no, I, I would definitely. Yeah, I would if if the curse got me at that point and manifested my desires, I would be dead. <laughs> correct. Yeah, correct. Uh, the there is conversation that the that somebody who does not match the value that somebody has of their 
thing yeah will like lose their value yeah and like the village has like a self-correcting yes value system so when uh when ma squishes uh mania, mania too hard uh so that like took away from the value as it pertains to rico who i guess owns mania yeah. so these like black and says blob- it says mania is priceless or something like that i think yeah says something about like yeah the, like the value like it, there is no like there is above value to me yeah so like these black blob things come up from the ground and like uh take a bunch of ma's stuff and then mm-hmm. also parts of and just her fucking body. rip her apart G- yeah <laughs> jesus christ that was intense yeah so the, this village goes hard goes hard yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's also like a group. There's a large group like of secret hollows, let's call them, who mm-hmm. like aren't really out in the like they're not always out and around like you never see them. So during this whole thing, it's because they got su- they got tricked into going into like a cave and then Ma and all of these like others hollows that you don't see kind of like jump them. Uh, yeah. And then that's when the, the black things come. But like over yeah. the course of the series, there are just like these hollows that you like had not seen. And then all of a sudden they're fucking there (laughs) and they're usually the bigger ones. Uh Uh-huh. There's a couple bigger ones that appear like over the course. Yeah. Uh, uh, is episode three, the first time where we get, uh, diarrhea. I wrote more shitting. Diarrhea. Mama Mia, baby. (laughs) Papa Pia, baby got the diarrhea. As my last note for episode three, I wrote more shitting. I just wrote diarrhea. Uh, so yeah, there is a bit, is there a, there's a conversation about, this is back to the, the newer timeline. Yes. With the, with the suicide squad. Yeah. Suicide squad. So they they are suicide squad. No, they're the suicide squad. They're the suicide squad. They've, they've made it to the the, sixth layer. To the sixth layer. Yeah. Um, and are and they're like, hey, we made it. Oh, also, it's a uh, it's still scary here, yeah. and uh, everything still seems to be uh, trying to kill us. Yes, uh, but they find a sort of safe place to camp. Yep, and they sort of find a uh, water source and a few things yeah. they can eat. Mm-hmm. And the uh, water source is not so much a water source as as it is like a living parasite. <laughs> and uh, isn't that later? That's what, that's what does the diarrhea though, right? Yeah, but I think that's like I, I think th- th- I've got that for we maybe get, seven. Get th- that information later. Uh, yeah. Well, I think this is this is the one where they find out that like that's the toilet they have to use, and the toilet is like that weird tentacle bowl. Okay, and that that's our regular timeline though. Hmm. Because well, they uh yeah yeah, that's, yeah like yeah, I mean, like all Re- of my Reg and Rico yeah. like get a room at the inn. Uh. With because because Rico uh, that uh, Rico is paid back for right. the uh, damage to Mania yeah uh, the and the stuff that was taken from Ma is converted Turn, into, into like some sort coin of currency system, yeah and she can pay for shit yeah. with that so they get a room at the inn which does in fact have a tentacle toilet yeah so that, maybe that's the more shitting maybe, that's the more shitting that's yeah. what I'm talking about because like my notes for the water yeah. and shit I guess is the like diary later. later okay. But this was her, like, being concerned about having to shit yeah, really bad, she, um, but she doesn't ha- know where to go, yeah. then she realizes that's the toilet and she doesn't want to. Yeah, and she has food poisoning but then they she cu- ate garbage soup. Yes. Yeah. And then afterwards, when they cut back to her, she's sitting on that thing pooping. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. much poop in So, this. yeah, of three episodes, we have seen Rico shit twice. Uh, correct. correct. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Well, that's how you gotta <laughs> do it. You just gotta keep showing the shit. Uh, yeah, then we get some more of the, I, I said, I, I like the idea of these, like, parallel stories and not knowing exactly when, uh, when any, w- when the new one is yes, happening. What, yeah, what the connection Cause is. Because they yeah. don't, because uh, obviously, because clearly we're getting a connection, but we don't know at this point what it's going to be. Yeah. Um, so there's. Good. There's a, a a mysterious curtainy thing, mm-hmm. a, a blob sheath <laughs> that um, that's what they call it. That they can't leave because if they leave, the the hollows can't. The leave. hollows can't leave the village because if they leave the village, then they'll like rapidly turn into like mushy. Yeah, they'll ba- basically gar- like, vaporize. Vaporize, yeah, yeah. And um, so Reg has to go out to find some. 
shopping. Yeah. And when he goes out is when we first get introduced to... Faputa. Faputa, who is a multi-armed, barely covering her tits, TF child. I like to fap to her, Puta. You know what? I'm sure there's lots of people who have. <laughs> um, and she She's like a more... More feral Nanachi type. Yes. Uh, yeah, she, she's she got multiple, weird, multiple yeah, ears. Lots, of, Yeah, multiple ears, multiple arms. Uh, four arms, two legs, and then like a big old like five point tail. He's sort of a kitsune type A kitsune type, type tail. Type tail. Yeah. And she recognizes him. Yeah. And has this big moment of like, you know, oh, it's like, I, I, I love you and yeah. blah, blah. And he has like, no memory of her. Have we met? And literally she is like, show me your dick. So I know it's you. Yes. Like, like it's his most identifying feature. I guess like face. Nah, like fingerprints. Nah, boy, dick, boy, dick. Yes. yes. That's red. It's like a finger hung like a horse. <laughs> but like, yeah. And yeah. like, again, these are children. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody, I think the people who wrote this show should probably go to prison. Um, yeah, the, I, I think you're right. But also, I would love for them to make more shows. I know, and they're going to. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. My next note is just so much toilet talk. I believe there's more talk of yeah. having to shit. That sounds right. Oh, there was, because uh, Rico, while Reg is off meeting Faputa, uh, goes to, like, the town restaurant. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> she's like... Uh, the restaurant smells nice, but with a hint of poo. <laughs> yes. Yes. A hint of poo. That, maybe that was the toilet talk I was yeah. talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I think it might have been. So the, the hollows all speak a weird language. Yes. And not the language that. Yeah. Not in theory, Japanese, but it's not yeah. Really Japanese. And language. yeah, not the language that uh, the Suicide Squad speaks. Yes. And and not the language our that, uh, that our, our main our characters speak. speak. Yeah. yeah. So, but there are a few people who can understand it yeah and communicate but like i said like the fake language that the hollows speak mm -hmm. sounded like somebody doing a mockingly racist japanese accent it did and that's why i liked it yeah it was very funny because yeah. like you're clearly japanese actors doing a japanese yeah because like anime yeah and you can't speak your regular language so you're like making noises that just sound vaguely yeah, Japanese. like you have two in in the like internal logic of the show you have two languages and one is japanese yes and one is fake japanese yes yeah yeah it's like a white guy doing yeah. a racist one is japanese. racist japanese yeah it's very funny yeah love yeah. it um so yeah so she learns a little bit of information at the restaurant, you get introduced to, like, one of the people in charge who can speak her language. Yeah. And I think we do find that he is uh, from the Suicide Squad. Yeah, I think maybe. I think they say pretty, his name. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, I yeah. think they do. So the, the Suicide Squad had, like, three founding members. Mm. Uh, uh, Wazukia was something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's who she meets at the restaurant. Yeah. Um, and uh, Vueco, the, the yeah. main, the abused girl. Yeah. Not the Baron girl. Not the Baron girl. That's a different she, girl. She was, she was a local. Don't worry, you'll learn about her. And, yeah. And Balak. 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 Balaf. Balaf. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They were like the the big three founders. Yeah. And this guy that she's met at the uh, restaurant is the n hollow version. Yeah. Of uh, of Wazukia. Uh, so clear. So, so, which also tells us that Suicide Squad so, is in the past. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. That's where we learn that they're there before. And I, I like when, um, when she's talking to him a bit at the restaurant. She, I, it, she does a thing that more people in TV and movies should do. She's like, "Hey, you can speak my language, so stop being a cryptic asshole <laughs> and tell me clearly and succinctly <laughs> what's up." Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just, love just I love give that. me the answers, bitch. Yeah, don't be. You've got yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell, tell me what's up. And yeah, I was like, oh, this is great. This is you should do this all the time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was tentacle rape. There's always tentacle. Rape. I wrote tentacle rape, I, but I don't remember what it's is from. It just like Vueco in her sort of prison because so, uh, uh, that's a little that bit tentacle. That is. Yeah. That I get kind of. So they like. Yeah. They. Uh, not. She, no. Who goes in the hole? The Nanachi definitely goes in the hole because yeah. she ends up staying in the hole for a while. Well, the, yeah. 
But uh, do they? I guess they all they both go. I guess Nanachi and Rico. Rico and, both go. And right? Reg is, and Reg Reg is still off with Fapuda, and she's like telling, and she's like kind of mad at him for not remembering. Shit. Yes, because he she says he made a promise to her. Yes, and he and doesn't like, remember I the don't promise. Because so he's like, uh, can you tell me the promise again, just one more time, just so I can yeah. remember? And she's like mad about it. Yeah, and like his because Reg's deal, like from the very first uh, episode of the whole show, is like if Rico discovers him in the first layer first of the abyss yeah. with no memory yeah and that's all we know yes and basically still all we know yeah uh so they go they go into the tu into the tunnels and they find a girl yeah who is of course as it uh, needs to be um completely fucking Nude. naked um, and she's connected by these like weird tentacles that are like going uh around her body she's yeah. got like a neck like chain, she, she, yeah. She's like bound and yeah, imprisoned. But you don't see her tits. You don't see. You regrettably don't see her tits. Um, and they decide to free her. Yeah, there's more talk of diarrhea at some point because I wrote it out. More diarrhea talk. I'm sure, there was. Um, yeah. So they decide to free her, and then we go back in time the to squad? see the suicide squad mm -hmm. um so they yeah so they're in the bottom layer they're not in the bazaar yet because it hasn't been created because it doesn't exist yet but they there is the uh like the weird lanky dragon thing that they say yes that is clearly a horse because it makes horse noises it's a, it's a um, big horsey a horse dragon the uh the design of it was really cool and unique i mentioned it i meant because it's uh because it comes back big in the second last episode um, but I'm, I'm like, it's cool. They made like the most deadly monster there, not very monsterish yeah. and kind of beautiful looking, yeah. but it will fuck you up <laughs> yeah. and it's huge. Yeah. It's like, it's, a like, it's like a moose. Yeah. It's like, and like, but stories and stories high. Oh, huge. Mo yeah. It's a massive. Yeah. But yeah, it is like the, the des character design is very cool. Yeah. Like, and, and the thing and is also great animation on it yes yeah and yeah you're right like it, it's not even necessarily it's not like, scary looking. it's not a and it's not violent it's just no it's just big. so big and it'll step on you and you yeah. fucking die exactly <laughs> um so after they free who we do we learn that it's no i think pretty soon i we guess learn, pretty soon we learn it's vueco vueco yeah who is so, one one of the og three stages yeah. but I, I, I but in current time she's been replaced by a, a different third yes. sage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then we kind of get some backstory there a yeah. little bit, but not too much. I think that, that comes kind of like in the next episode. Um, but they, so they go, uh, she's, uh, Renachi leaves to go look further in the tunnels. Yeah. Where she ends up meeting Boleth. Yeah. In who is, like a face sor serpent thing. Serpent skeleton. Serpent skeleton with like Very a big. big sun face. Yeah. Um, like probably how like several hundred feet long. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Although it kind of just it kind of differs. It's hard to tell. When he's out, he's yeah. like way shorter. Yeah. But when he's in there, he's like huge. Oh, but I, I think did he trade some of him oh, for yes. something so that there's yeah. a, there's a reason he was small yeah. yeah well um so oh yeah because he trades with nanachi he'll give him he gives up half of himself i don't know if he gave it to nanachi i think it's something oh yeah maybe it's something else yeah, yeah yeah but anyways like he so when nanachi sees him he gives her this big long speech about the things that you although you don't know that's bluff yet I don't think so. But Soon he, enough, you the know. speech about the things you've always cherished and that you always love, and like I can give you that or whatever. And he yeah. like uncoils, and there's Mitty laying. There's there. Mitty, and it is the most like sad, but also like you're like, oh, this this can't this can't end good. This cannot be like good you for know business. this can't. So um, the Nachi ex like accepts like we having Mitty. We don't see it. No, but we don't see it. It happens on screen, but Nanachi just sells herself. Yeah. To, I will like I will trade myself to have Mitty to forever. be with Mitty, and I believe he was using Mitty as a food source also. Uh, yeah, and, I think so. And, uh, and he stopped that. Yeah. So she's just 
lying down asleep with Mitty, like holding hands, holding hands face, face, to, face to face. Yeah. In the most adorable, loving way. Yeah. Um, and then they, so I don't know the exact next thing. Cause I feel like my new for that is a little, so Vueco and I guess she's already given information Episode six basically ends with Vueco about to tell the story of the city's right, creation. Right, right. And then the one other thing I have in uh, in episode six is um, the uh, Rico gets her whistle back from yes. the from the town carver, town carver. Uh, who has like recarved the whistle into like its ideal and most yes. powerful yeah, yeah. form because she wasn't getting like uh she didn't know this but like uh whoever stole it and gave it to whistle carver yeah uh knows how to get the most bang for your buck yeah. out of yeah. out of a whistle uh and also uh the whistle carver loves their job because <laughs> literally said i climaxed carving your friend yes <laughs> oh yeah Big fan of that. Oh, yeah. And then my guess... Oh, when that guy found out I wasn't Brian LeFave, oh, I got off there. <laughs> oh, I got off big time. And my guess at this point was that Fapuda is the hollow version of the uh, infertile village girl, which I was close but wrong yeah, on. Almost. Yeah, almost. Uh, but Partial I think before credit. Rico gets... Finds the Natchi, and then that's when the offer is made of yes, the, I yeah. will free her. Yeah, Rico's like, hey, I need the Natchi. Yeah, and like she's part like, of the team. Yeah, and Belov's like, uh, she's that's sold. Right. She sold her entirety to me. To me. Uh, I'm so, the captain. So now. yeah, so she's just here. She's going to be here sleeping um forever. So yeah, sorry, sorry. She goes, well, I need yeah. her. Like, hey, well, I will give her and back. Like, well, to you. human girls do have high value. Yeah. So he's like, okay, I, well, I could trade you back for like Here, everything I own and like the thing in my bag. And like, I think she just offers her items. stuff and, and he like, goes, eh, it's not nah, really enough for me. I'm probably going to need like both arms, both, both legs, eyes. Uh, both. Oh, eyes. there were, there were eyes. Yeah. It was both legs, both, both legs, eyes, both eyes are half, half of your in, guts. internal guts. <laughs> and she's like, hmm. and she's like strongly yep. considering. Well, it. then that's the end of that episode. Yes. The next episode starts with her like, well, can I, maybe I can survive without. And then and they're like, no, and, and she gets talked out of it. She, uh, what's his name? Ka Kaji? Haji? No. Haji Maja? Haji Maja. Yeah. Yeah. I think Haji for short. Haji. Yeah. Yeah. He tells her like, no, like you're pure. And if you give away a part of yeah, yourself, yeah. that's it. It's a, like, it's, it's a slippery slope. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but they said, uh, a piece of Fapuda yes. who is the, what, uh, embodiment of desire. Yeah. Some, along those lines. Yes. Um, a piece of the Fapuda, most fuckable child is yeah, what they call her. Would do great. Cause she's like, that bitch is worth a ton. A bajillion dollars. Yeah. yeah. So Reg goes out to see her again. Yes. And she's like, yeah, sure. Cracks off a fucking Rips arm. Rips her head off. <laughs> yeah, her arm off. Yeah. Um, Here you go. Just make sure you keep your promise. And he's like, I yeah. will definitely keep my promise. One, one more time. What was that? I think that she does give him a little piece of it, but it's not enough because she wants him to remember on his own. Yes. But then while he's out... Then there's like a. Uh, also, do we do we know that she can't go into the village? Is that sort of clear yet? I think it kind it's of is been talked about. Yeah. yeah, and she she also has an interferon uh, uh, guy yeah. with her, Gabaroon. Gabaroon, um, who's sort of like her protector. Yes. Um, but while he while Reg is out getting that inside the village, the village. Uh, there's like a blob monster. Yes. A purple blob monster that like attacks. Yeah. And is. And Rico, Rico's to like to, to Haji or whatever. Like, yeah. oh my God, what is, there's a monster in town. What's going on? They're like, I oh, no, this is all on purpose. Yeah. It's uh, the, the villagers like don't get to go out and do stuff because they can't leave the village. So every now and then we lure a monster into the village and they sort of hunt it. Yes. Yeah. Except for it doesn't really go that way. Well. Except for it goes bad. Because that thing like starts, starts fucking, fucking up all up. of the townsfolk. <laughs> yes. Um. Then the sculptor who has made the whistle yes. just like enlarges by 30 times, busts out of their like workshop, and then it is immediately just 
torn to fucking pieces. Oh, yeah. Just completely shredded <laughs> by right. this creature. Um, but then, uh, like, like I said before, like a random massive creature. Who I think is the new third sage. Is the new third sage just yeah. like and appears sort of, out of yeah. nowhere. The, like, has a big phallic looking sword. Yeah, it just cut, he pulls out of his own body. Yeah, but it like looks like a dick. It looks like a dick. Um, and then like so him and some of the other town folk like start fighting this thing to try and kill it. Um, then they do eventually kill it. Turns out it's just like a hive mind living inside it. Oh, Reg comes back. Yes. Um, and Reg, like, Reg, Reg figures Rico it out. blows and, the whistle. Yeah. And then he uh, gets white with rage. And yeah, Reg's gear turns, turns white. white. And then he gets like ultra power. Yeah. Um, and he goes and fucks it up and yep. then realizes it's just like a hive mind with these little purple things. Yeah. That they were all e they all eat. Yeah. Um, but uh, is it worth it at the cost of. Like having people killed that are important to your maybe, everyday. Maybe bring in smaller, less or just like think of a better hunt. game plan. Or do a different thing than waiting yeah. for it to come into town. And maybe, anyways, maybe don't do the hunt at all. Um. So after that, then yeah. So Red gets the power for like ten minutes, but then he's like dead. He passes out. Yeah. And now we go back. Oh in yeah. Time. Does does is this where Reg ends up like he uses his incinerator yes on the thing yeah. but also blows a hole in the side of the village uh i think that's or is that later? later that's later I mean, it is later yeah. yes uh um, that was at like the tur turbine dragon yes the big horsey the big horsey yeah, yeah. No, the big horses come in through the oh hole. they do come in it's through at that. one of the other monster things that is <laughs> there um so this now now we go back in time yeah. To the other, the the first group that we saw at the beginning of the show. Yeah. And now it's them drinking the water. Yes. So they go and find a water source. Yeah. And they bring it all back in these barrels and they boil it and everybody's like, you know, they're so, having a good time. So far like, so good for a bit. Um, But then, <coughs> then Boleth and maybe just another random guy go back to get more and they realize that there's like this weird hole in the ground sort of where some of the yeah. water was and they're like <clears throat> uh they think it's a tunnel but they're like no it's like an organic oh, like a living thing living thing that is turned into like layers of like this hard fibrous whatever mm -hmm. so um, and this water is full of parasites <laughs> it's full of parasites so they go back to tell they're like they say should we tell everybody we're like well no everybody needs the water so let's not yeah, like say we anything literally die without a water source yeah. and this is the only one um so they they bring it all back and at this point the the um iramui iramui yeah which is the the local ba the barren child. local barren child um she's like very like like loving and just wants and she gives this very sad story about how all she wanted was to make babies yeah and she couldn't and she make can. babies and then her village like disowned her because she was worthless yeah. and she forms like and a tight bond with vueco vueco who she then says that is like she treats her like her mom yeah and then she hugs her and she goes mm, you like mommy smell you the s smell of mating with lots of people <laughs> thank you because i forgot what this note of mine was because it's my first note for episode yeah. seven you smell like a whore reminds me of my mom <laughs> that's what it was yeah mommy smell you, the smell of mating with several people yeah but it's because even though we learned that she can't have babies yeah uh all of the men on the boat were using her as a cum dumpster mm -hmm. which in this world is wild that you're worthless if you can't have a baby as if you can't also just have sex yeah like it, that, <laughs> very strange yeah um but then she tells the story of how her mother had a large, large amount of kids, yeah. but she was the only girl and yes. her brothers used to look at her. But then when they told yeah. her that she was barren, her brothers didn't care about her anymore. I'm like, wait, they can't, are you implying they can't make a baby with their little sister anymore? Look, Drew, it's a small island. I guess. Leave him alone. I guess. Let nature take his course. Um, so now in the middle of the night, uh, Vueco wakes up and smells shit. Yep. And uh, touches the diarrhea that's come out of Iruyumi's butt but, hole. Yeah. And goes, oh, yep, die. That's sure diarrhea. Is diarrhea. Sure is the texture and smell and <laughs> taste of diarrhea. So yeah, a uh, lot of people are shitting themselves and slowly turning to stone. Yeah, <laughs> um, which is less than ideal. 
Yeah, it really is. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, a bunch of them start getting sick, and then uh, they so they find that w- that I don't remember where they found the golden egg. I don't either. But they find a golden egg, a cradle of desire, and they go to because they've been uh, uh, assisted by um, the interferons. And yes, that, I'm like, how did they get this information? Yeah. It's from the robots. So the robots, yeah. tell them what it is, and it's it's a wish stone or a wish orb, yeah. but it only really works with children. Yeah, it's it's much more dangerous with adults and uh, is very... It's a monkey's paw with adults, essentially. Yeah, is that and it's very prone to altering people's forms, curse style. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so like it's much better with kids. Yeah, so... Much like me, better with kids. Way better with kids. Yeah. Uh, definitely always finishes with kids. So Vueco mm. takes it to uh, Ir- 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 Irmumi and puts it inside yeah. of her and chest. And they're like, hey, hope... Well, no, like she just gives it to her. Yeah. I guess, yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. And they're like, hope you make a wish to say, Zara. I feel like they could have given her better instructions. Uh, they could have just said, hey, wish just for- wish that everybody wasn't sick. Yeah. Instead of just like leaving it on a child yeah. who's already mentally distraught. And, has, and is sick. And has diarrhea. <laughs> and has tons of diarrhea. Yeah. Just won't stop but they're shitting. just like, yeah, hope you wish good. And uh, guess what? She doesn't. So she, well, she technically wishes okay. It's just she gets monkeys. She pod. got monkeys pod for sure. So it, um, yeah. So what are uh, God? This is dark. She wished for a baby, but it didn't have any holes to eat or drink, so it just fucking died. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, and also mine. Wrote, I wrote fucking traumatizing, wishing to have babies because you're barren, only for them to just keep dying. Yeah. So and like yeah. At, so presumably overnight after she makes the wish, the 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 golden egg cradle of desire thing. Yeah, like merges with her. It's yeah. just like part of her now. And yeah. So and when she like shows them, she's like, look, no pain, like nothing hurts. Yeah. Like, she's I'm like, not she's in pain. It. Yeah. But the, you're like, yeah, but you you look. Fucked up. Yeah, you look horrendous. Yeah, and like she keeps, yeah, like, d- d- I don't know if devolving is the right word. It, but it, like, it is, kind get, of. Getting more hollow Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so, and then, yeah, one day she like squirts out a little thing. Yeah. Uh, and that just almost immediately dies because it can't, yeah. it doesn't have the right things to live. Yeah. And she's devastated. Yes. And then it but keeps... Then she, but then she keeps sort of like morphing a little bit more yes. at a time. And then, yeah, she just keeps having... Keeps squirting And there's sort of like a the, very depressing montage <sighs> of like... The, a, like there's like there's like a baby and then it's dead. Then there's another baby and it's dead. Then there's another baby and it's dead. And then she just keeps having them. Oh, God. Over and over. <laughs> I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, so... That that keeps happening. She keeps morphing into like this kind of gelatinous Just blob, mu- the, much less human. And the more, like the more, because time's kind of moving forward a little bit here. Yeah. Where then voice blah 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 uh, Vavusco Vueco Vueco um, goes back to see her, and she's like kind of lost the ability to talk. Yeah, she's like not really like a living, like a cognitive being. Um, I believe it's at this point where she then goes back to her place of stay and says, oh, my butt burns and then has diarrhea. Yeah. Um, and then she says something about like, oh, it finally caught up to me. Um, and so she passes out and when she wakes up, she's being fed soup, soup or stew. Yep. Um, and as soon, as soon as they did that, I'm like, oh, I know 100% what they're doing. They're eating those fucking babies. They're eating those the, fucking this babies. Is, this is fucking Snowpiercer. They're eating that baby. Yeah. they. I, yeah, Captain so, America's eating that baby. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember where, where information was given, but at my last note for episode seven is, did they eat the kid? And then my first note for episode eight is, this is so much worse than eating the kid. I think. Yeah. I think we... 
Yeah, maybe we, it hadn't exactly shown what had happened to Iremu. No, no, and I'm like, oh god, did they eat her? I'm like, oh no, it's way worse. It's way worse. It's than so her. like they should be so lucky, yeah. as to have just eaten a girl, yeah, <laughs> instead of as uh, opposed to a girl mm-hmm. becoming this monstrosity yeah. uh, who shits out babies that die, that uh, that in turn you make into stew, which is what. Cures, cures everybody, everybody which was also part of her wish it was part of her wish like her her wish was uh i i want to be fertile and i want people to stop being sick yeah so uh, good pa- wish on goes g- great wish on paper yeah <laughs> but you know <laughs> can't win them all yeah uh yeah my last note for seven was delicious babies delicious babies and then in my first episode it was like Irimui as a baby making blob is horrifying. Yes, it is. Because she just keeps getting bigger and bigger until she's like not even like a recognizable humanoid. No. no. She's just a blob with a hole. Yeah. Um, and then I don't remember the exact way that they do it, but there's like a discussion on like m- moving. Um, Irimu sort she of decides huge. to, yeah, she gets real big and sort of moves herself, and, uh, somewhere leading up to this, uh, Wazukia. Yeah, Wazukia. I'm, I'm, I'm so not confident. I, I think those are all the right letters, Wazoo. but I, <laughs> but I cannot remember. I don't think I ever wrote his name down. I didn't either. Uh, I'll tell you right fucking now. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wazukian, just an N at the end of what I was saying. Wazukian. Um, so, so he at some point procured a second uh, golden egg cradle of desire just thing. Just from out of nowhere. Uh, yeah. Th- you know, just appearing. Yeah. We never, we aren't told where either came from. Nope. Uh, and don't they say that there are like basically three in Fapuda? Yes. Yeah. So I guess she's made of the two and then got another one. Uh, Someone fucking, fucking know, knows. I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, which I, cause it, it seems like Wazukian's motives are for the most part good. He just sometimes goes about him the wrong yeah. way. He's never really malicious. He just wants everyone to like survive. Yeah. Basically. Kind of. Uh, but yeah, the so, captain. Yeah. But so, yeah. So it procures a second, one of these things and another jams it into <laughs> Irimu. And then she like moves to like sort of the edge of where they were yeah and and then gets even more like yeah it gets huge massive but also starts like eating flying birds yeah which one of them grabs a girl and fucking explodes her yes he squeezes her to death yeah yeah at at, at this point i'm like yeah so yeah i yeah i have short notes for some episode but my two notes for episode eight are this is so much worse than eating the kid i'm like oh god so the kid is the village. Kids uh, the village. The kids the village. Kids the village. Uh, <coughs> Look out, Joaquin Phoenix is retarded. He's gonna fall in a pit. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I think Belaf is the first one too. He's like because because Irmui is the v- village sized Irmui is like going crazy and eating yeah. everything, sort yeah. of. And he's to like grow. I will yeah, I will sacrifice my body and soul to you. Um well, he's to, to calm. He's, he's traumatized from eating the babies. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a like thing. he oh, he yeah. has a full on mental breakdown yeah, about when eating he, the babies when he finds out that Soylent Green is people. Yeah, because he didn't want to. No, but because he was sick, he they he did kind of to forced him to get better. Yeah, and he didn't want to, so he he's like yeah. he wants to die. I think. Yeah, and he's like, I look, I will sacrifice my myself to you. So, uh, so you, so as, what, one, so I can die because I as am penance, kind of, yeah, because I am like un irreparably destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> mentally, I'm yeah. not okay. Uh, so like, so you, so you can chill out, and and I can be that, and then that happens, and he goes inside Iramui and and becomes like the first hollow there. Yes, basically, and then and turns into the snake monster. It turns into a snake skeleton monster. Uh, yeah. And Wazukian says that, and he's like, sees that, and he says, okay, why don't, why don't we all just do that, and we'll live here and be safe, I guess. He's kind of like, counting on a lot of factors that he doesn't really know, but he's like, yeah, I guess this is the best option, so they basically all 
climb inside climb of in, her womb. become hollows, yeah. and live inside her as a village. As a village. Except Vueco, yeah. who doesn't want to. Yeah. And uh, just want... I think just wants... Irimui to like be, be, be back, be released, yeah, be back to normal. Yeah, uh, I I don't know. My note is just wish child turned mountain of sludge turned TF machine. Is this <laughs> what I... Perfect. Um, Man, uh, what I would do with a fucking TF machine? Oh, like you'd go over. You you would go so overboard, and you would like <laughs> yeah. It would be a real the fly situation. I'd be tricking so many people into getting in it. Grundle fly, but <laughs> S- Scott fly. I don't know. Um. So Waco gets knocked out or stolen, like kind of because and she wakes up and then then she's in she's in that the, sort of the, prison with all the tentacles, is, fully naked, which is basically inside Irimui's yeah. head, quote unquote. So. The, what she's told is you're inside her head where you can have the deepest connection with her. Yeah. Uh, on a completely separate note, um, you're naked for another read. Don't worry. You're, about you're naked. Reason. And uh, also you got here naked and you wanted this. So we just kind of, this is actually your idea. We didn't ask any questions about why you wanted all your clothes taken off and for me to slobber over your tits. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was, this seems like a you thing. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a you thing. Yeah. And then we, we find that uh, those, sort of black blobby things are like either either or both uh sort of like the un unborn uh hollows that never came out of Iramui or the ghosts of ones that did or I, both I, I think it's kind of both yeah it's just yeah, I think everything it's just, connected to it's everything her, that she basically. had made that yeah. wasn't alive yeah and they're sort of like her I don't know comforters like they, yeah yeah and and those are also the things that like equalize the value yeah. in uh, yeah I mean in the in, village I guess if you look at it it's like a metaphor for like you know your your body and like they're they're like they're fighting the bad yeah you know, and just like, like a- achieving homeostasis inside yeah kind of a right? body yeah um so now we go back to current time now that we've seen the reveal of why what everything that's yeah happened. so that's basically the story the yep. uh the village is Iramui. yep <laughs> the um, the barren girl yep. who then became extremely unbarren yes but in the worst possible way but then she so let me learn through like the story that she had one child that was able to survive because of the orbs yes which is Fapita. Yes. Who is her only living child. Yes. And she thinks that she's there as like a, a slave. Mm-hmm. And her only goal is to kill, which is to release her mother. Yes. And so that her mother is not trapped as this village. Yeah. But before, I guess it's here, maybe. Um, she gets like very like, violent and aggressive and feral and kind of turns into like a demon child yeah um and then that's when she starts to like self like she rips off her ear yeah and uh i was like oh self-mutilation she's probably trans (laughs) wow well um am i wrong tell me i'm wrong scott with a straight face not my place to tell me you're wrong it's not my place to say or i'm wrong um, um, yeah, and also, uh, earlier, the, the arm Fapita ripped off oh, right. to trade for Nanachi Nanachi. was just, like, intercepted by, uh, maybe, oh, I, th- I think, like, the, the protector guy yes. of the village, and he's like, nope. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, now we get a little, we get kind of get a little bit of information about what reg reg's promise was because he doesn't remember any of it yeah and so they he met her when she was a child um yeah by accidentally blowing a hole into no he was kind of walking down the street (laughs) but uh what's his face her protector guy gabaroon gabaroon had been like destroyed hadn't he or like blown up or something he he was fucked up and then reg but reg was the reason wasn't it i don't know 
I don't recall. Because there was like a, he? He, had, he had like a big blast hole in him. Mm-hmm. I don't remember then. I don't remember the exact specifics of it. Yeah. But like, yeah, he does walk there, and immediately she was like, "Oh, I love that boy. <laughs> yeah. like, that boy is is beautiful, and I love him, and I want his giant penis inside of me." Yep. Um, we, and we do. I think after this, we get uh, like, yeah, when she comes upon uh, Gabaroon in the first place, oh, and he's like. <laughs> out of commission basically yeah he's like kind Uh, of only a head sort of yeah and she's fully feral yes he like teaches her to speak yes because she didn't know before she was she was an animal animal. yeah Yeah. uh like teaches her to speak and like yeah and then and then she keeps bringing him things to like put him back together better and that's sort of where like her her concept of value yeah came from and how there's like degrees yeah of value yeah um, and so Reg kind of tells her that he, I have this blaster thing that is on my hand yeah. that if I use it, it'll like, it can, like, it can destroy, it can, it can destroy whatever. But like every time I use it, like I pass, I, out. I pass out and like, I need it cause I need to get to the surface. But yeah. like, I promise when I go up there, I will come back down and I will help you free your mother. Yeah. And that's that's the promise, but he's forgotten all of it. Yeah, the promise is to destroy the village, basically. Destroy the village. And everyone in it. And everyone in it. Yeah. And she... So, like, now she's kind of, like, doubting whether or not he's actually going to help her. Yeah. And she's gone completely batshit crazy. Yeah, and she's super jealous of Rico, because Reg's with Rico Because Rico also wants his giant dick. Mm -hmm. And we have learned at some point over the course of the season that... Uh, she uh, uh, she can't Fabuda can't go into yes. Which I, do, I like. Did they ever, there? There's no real reason to explain why she couldn't. It's just her makeup. Uh, yeah, that she goes in, she disintegrates or something. Yeah, but then her the, hand went in and it was fine. So I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I don't think they they don't say anything about it. Free call. Um, so at this point, uh, I think maybe you just can't go in through the main entrance. Well, yeah, I guess so. I guess maybe going through that like yeah. slime wall thing because she does end up going in those. Yeah. Um, so then, yeah, I think so, it was that. Uh, then there's like a creature gets in. Yeah. That is trying that they're so they, I don't remember exactly the situation, but they're all in the sort of like the big hall thing. Yeah. And the creature gets in, and they're all they're gonna try and fight it, and then Reg just shows up. Yeah. Out of nowhere because he hasn't been in there for a couple episodes. Yeah. And just blows a fucking giant hole through it. Yeah. But it opens a massive hole in the hole the, yeah. the shell that isn't protected, which then lets all of the uh, the 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 horse dragons yeah. and monsters and creatures and stuff in and 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 Fapida, and Fapida who is now fully like on a goddamn rampage. like rageful yeah um but so like yeah so that's kind of like the end of season or episode 9 episode 10 yeah 9 is mostly a fight episode yeah so yeah, yeah. so all the creatures are like uh, they they've broken in. Yeah. They're they're like eating all of the town folk. Yeah. There's some like the mean badgers. There's some mean badgers. There's people. more birds. Yeah. There's a scary horsey. Oh, there's multiple horsies. Um. But now like, uh, Fapta's in. It's like I'm also going to kill. And all she's of you. I'm, like I'm gonna fuck shit up. But all of the beasts. Yeah. Turn on her. Yes. So she they she's because starts... they have no loyalty to her. They're oh. just hungry. Um. So. So she. Fights a bunch of the she beasts. She fights a bunch yeah. of the beasts, but they start like tearing her apart. Yeah. And then all the town folk are like trying to leave. They're trying to run away. Yeah. And Rico and is like really like torn on how mm-hmm. like and like a bunch of the town folk are as well that just like, you know, she she is just a child. Yeah. And like, does she really deserve what she's getting? Yeah. But at this point, during the whole thing and like rumbling and explosions and whatever, like the underground part starts to like break apart a bunch. Yeah. And now, uh, Balaf and Nanachi's part is like open. Yes. And Balaf just kind of says like, all right, sound leaf. Oh, like <laughs> we can, we can go now. Like we're not, we're not in here. We're not stuck in here anymore. And I was like, all that Nanachi shit just to be released, <laughs> like just to be let go. But I mean, it is, if you like, you can go if you want, but you'll lose Midi, essentially, is what it is. Yes. And because because all the because because Midi isn't exactly her Midi. No, Midi is an exact copy copy of Midi yeah. because uh, Bonjour, the bad guy yes. from last movie, yeah. uh, had made several journeys down yeah. to the sixth layer and uh, and 
Belaf was like infatuated with Mitty yeah. and how she's like indestructible and uh, has a lovely personality. Yeah. And, yeah. and so you um, can just keep eating her essentially. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so Bondred said, this is something to the effect of like, well, you can't have this because uh, yeah, I know Mitty's high value and I'm keeping Mitty, but you can trade me for the ability to make yes. an exact copy of yes. Mitty. Is so, that maybe what he said that he gave up half of himself? Maybe that, maybe it was the trade for Mitty. Tra- for Mitty. Yeah. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Um, so reluctantly Nanachi like realizes it's not her Mitty. And she has this big emotional like walk away carrying it. Yeah. But like as she's yeah, walking the, further and further the away. The deal with because the uh, the village is uh, protected from like the force field curse. Yes. Uh, but by the same token, all the hollows within the village, uh, like we said, basically yeah. vaporize if they go out past. Yeah. Uh, so and that's now that there's like a hole. The force field's coming in, uh, and yeah, if you go past it, then Mitty's gonna vaporize. Yeah, but yeah, so she very like she reluctantly realizes like it's not the Mitty, yeah, like it's not her Mitty, and she has to like reluctantly like big big emotional like very upsetting like walk and like Mitty is disintegrating in her arms as she's walking. Why does this show insist on devastating me? Because it is wants you to cry. My first note for episode 10. Well, yeah. uh, let me make a, a definitive statement here. I didn't cry at this episode. That is a definitive statement. Okay. I believe the statement you've made. I didn't. Why would you not make a truthful statement? Right uh, now? That that is no, that is a that is for real, like unironically, a truthful statement. I didn't cry at this episode. Oh, okay. Good. I believe you. And I'm not gonna say that again. Any other things. <laughs> but I didn't no. look, are you listening? I'm listening. I didn't cry at this okay. episode. I believe you. Good. Because it's it's the honest truth. Um maybe later stuff happens. I don't know. I don't know. Um completely like blood soaked and insane like r- rabid fapida looked very cool like <laughs> the, the animation she and did. like the visual looked she real did look cool. cool yeah uh there was some forced vor <laughs> yeah so basically even though the villagers kind of know that fapida wants to fuck them up yeah they also know that like she's important yes um because they do that her name is means immortal, immortal princess. princess yeah. yeah um so when all the the monsters that have come in have fucked up Fapuda, like the villagers go and like willingly sacrifice parts or all of themselves yeah. to her to like get, get her, her better back to, yeah. so she can get her get back in fighting shape yeah um, which, which which then makes uh Fapoda question her if she's doing the right thing. Right. Yep. And then what really makes her start questioning is she goes to goes to and successfully does kill Belaf. Yes. Who in his final moment yeah. imparted all his memories to her yes. via smell. Via well, smell. Very because he's made of smell. He is he's also made of smells. And uh so she gets all the memories of the founding of the village. Yeah. Because uh, she, she didn't get those when she was born. Yeah. It's like the one thing she didn't get. Yes. Um, uh, but but she she knows, like, the Iremui, the village, like, is her, is her mother. mother. She yeah. knows that. Yep. Um, yeah. So then she's like, oh, God, I didn't know. I didn't know a lot of this. Uh, now I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. And oh, and then yeah, and in, in addition to Mitty, uh, some other hollows present also kind of vaporized, but some of them I guess were built on uh, like inorganic things. Yes. Uh, so there are like bits of like metal and rock and stuff left. Yeah. And uh, Nanachi. Uh, takes that stuff yeah. to like make a sick ass suit. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wrote like warrior Nanachi I wrote, rules. I wrote mecha Nanachi. Yeah, mecha Nanachi. Yeah, rules. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. The, yeah. Uh, 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 Fabada to Bella after just after she kills him, she's like making me feel feelings. You can't fight like that. <laughs> what the fuck. Yeah. Yeah, what uh, is that like? 
I think it's like a movie. Maybe it's Deadpool. Or maybe it's Kick-Ass. Maybe it's Deadpool 2. Maybe it's Kick-Ass 2. I don't remember. But like definitely where like, there's a fight and then they like they're like getting really close and yeah. tries to kiss her. <laughs> like whoever the girl he's fighting, and she's like, What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, I totally read that wrong. My bad. <laughs> sorry. Um Yeah, so uh now like uh Reg's back up and kicking ass. Yep. Uh, uh, Rico blows the... He, I was going to say, he gets whited up. Blows again. the whistle and then like blood starts pouring out of her nose and she passes out. Yeah. She's like, he, uh, may, maybe no more whistles for you for a little bit. Yeah. He goes and Take starts rest. fucking up the horse dragons. Yes. Uh, like real good. Gets them to follow him outside and then realizes that someone has like fortified the village against the side of the like abyss yes and he has to like get rid of that because other words it'll never disintegrate yeah. so he uh he does a big old like shoot his hand around it in a big circle which doesn't work <laughs> but like the, like the science of it doesn't work but yeah he does it and then it breaks and the the dragon horses fall, fall. and uh, again fall further down further down so we're not at the bottom there's seven <laughs> um and yeah, and then like the, you know, it starts to to sit to sit as it the starts to disintegrate a little bit. Yeah, uh, I don't know what my note is, but I wrote uh, more forced war. I think F Fapita like goes inside one of the creatures that, and like explodes uh, well, out like, of it. Fapita's move, yeah, for kicking your ass if you're big, yeah, is to jump into part of you, yeah. and burst out another part yes. of you. Yeah, but I yeah. think it was one point where she like. She like goes like, I think she did like hand the whole... first into a mouth and then just goes in <laughs> and explodes out the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's her move. I don't like four. Four is gross. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. So kind of like you know, the, like a, a lot of the battle has stopped. Fapita's like kind of really like past the point where she can keep fighting yeah the village people take village people nice. the people of the village take her to one of their like homes and yeah. are like nursing her back to health uh, and i was like oh just when you think there's gonna be a nice peaceful rest moment just like a fucking monster shows up and starts eating the town folk again yep and they just sucks them out of the hole just starts killing them yeah and i was like is there no rest <laughs> <laughs> there is can none. we just stop with the violence i would love a break and like, and in the meantime, like uh, Haji uh, Wazukian yeah. and Ma, who uh, I mean, Ma's not doing a lot of the work, no. but because she's differently able. Yep, uh, I can only say Ma. <laughs> it just has two like dumb little uh, mm -hmm. b b inflatable <laughs> arms. <laughs> yeah, uh, one of one of whom is just like red and raw and looks like a dog penis. That sure does for all the show because that's part of what the little black guys took to even out uh, her prolapsing that little animal's anus Aww. man what a poor butthole what a lot going on <laughs> um yeah and wazukian sort of dies like but sort of intentionally well he so uh, one of the things we didn't talk about for a, a bunch of that thing was that he has vueco yeah like kind not really like it appears held captive yeah it is it's kind of but yeah. what it actually is is he's like protecting he's sort of her protecting from her. the violence yeah but then when everything starts to fall to shit and there's like fire rain happening yeah he like because the whole time he he doesn't look organic really he kind, kind of, of looks stony or like yeah. metal, but then he like breaks out of this like it's like sort of armor. Yeah. And he just becomes like a very uh I am Groot moment where he just becomes like yeah. branches and stuff and he just starts like um, enveloping enveloping everything and like yeah. protecting everything. And so when they find him, uh he's like broken down into yeah. just like his like the shell of his body. Yeah, he's like, that's all I got. And, uh, Sorry, guys. Yeah, so he dies. Yeah. Um, and then, is it is it kind of revealed? Like, I mean, again, not really revealed, but like, Fapita thinks like realizes that Vueco's like, I don't know, like her her sister, kind of, or like her family because of her, yes. like, yeah, right, yeah, because she di she didn't get her mother's memories of Vueco. Yes. She got her memories of yeah. her mother. Yeah. So, yeah. So she looks at her like family. Yes. Sort of. 
Um, yeah, because she's she's sort of her mother's mother or older or big sister or yeah. whatever, but very close to her mother. Yes. As close as you can be besides being family, but they sort of felt like family. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know the note, but I wrote bitches be jealous and I believe it's Fapita <laughs> because I think she, oh, Fapita was jealous of Rico. Yeah. So what Rico and Reg see each other, they have like a big like re- reunion yeah. and she like gets really mad about She's it. Like, oh. And her line is. Uh, Fapita's butt is fragrant too. <laughs> Whatever, like, you know, that's just the line she says. Um, I, I love that all the furries in this smell good. Yeah, because it's, it's not it's, like real life. Yeah, it's like, it's like an ideal scenario. Yeah, they're like, yeah. oh, if furries showered and yeah. washed their suits and put on deodorant and didn't smell like they've been living in their own piss for three days. Um, Wash your ass. I hope furries are listening and I hope they're offended because I mm-hmm. hate them. Uh, I don't hate them. That's all I do. Um, so they've, when, so when did, um, it's probably Vueco time. Yeah, but they, Mahikaja, Magikaja. I think. Magikaja. That, that sounds right, but it could also be a million things. Let me, let's get the. I wrote down Magikaja. Magikaja. Okay. They like. Oh yeah, I was saying Haji. It's Maji. Maji. Magikaja. Magikaja. They, they, Magikaja. They like soup him up. And turn yeah. him into like a vehicle. Yeah. Or like, but I mean, he runs, but like they turn him into like a vehicle thing. Yeah. Um, where he's like gonna help them try and get away. Yeah. From like the collapsing village. Um, at one point, like when they do it, they're like, a bunch of them are like not gonna go. They're gonna like keep fighting, and they like make them go. One being Ma, and um, I wrote, I don't like that Ma has a badonk. Because they lift her up, and it's like a very definitive, like, Cakes here's a crease, up. here's the fucking butt cheeks. Ma's got a butt. Like, cr- why? Yeah. Who's that for? For me to confuse? For me to beat off? What? Um. So, yeah. Now, I like, the only notes I have left are just Vueco's incredibly sad revelation, <sighs> which is just soul, soul devouring, not even crushing. Yeah. The soul has been eaten, and there's nothing left. Yeah, so I wrote, uh, oh good, it's been a while since I've had some sad TF from Made in the Abyss. So guess what? It's sad TF time. So the the curse has, the, the, the village is no longer protected, protected. Yeah. Uh, from the curse, so it's getting in, and then sort of after, like on the way back when uh, uh, Ma, Maji and Ma and Rico, uh, like, pick up Waco. She's like starting to succumb. Yeah, to well, the curse. She she's run she's running up some stairs and she gets too close to the opening. Yes, and then yeah, that's, that's when it. it starts happening to her. Yeah, and then that the the head of the restaurant lady thing, Moogie, Moogie runs up and grabs her and throws her back down the stairs right. to get her away from yeah. the thing. And I think Moogie vaporizes, and Moogie in, the vaporizes in the process. So yeah. Moogie saves her, uses herself to save her. Yeah. And then they discover her, including Fapita. Yeah. Who then like ha- carries her and puts her up and yeah. Yeah. As, and, uh, Vueco doesn't get a good TF. No, she gets a MIDI style. Yes, she does. Fucked up. Yeah. Blob monster TF. Yeah. No good. It is so fucking heartbreaking. <laughs> like, just... The, but the, the sad thing is, like, when she gets to the hole, and she, like, she says something along the lines of, like, like it, the pain is hurting her. Yeah. She drops down, and she goes, like, I, I guess I've been human this whole time. Yeah, be- because she is turning into yeah. a hollow. That means she was human. But she, like... Because she's had, she's, she had, like, a bunch of rough years uh, in imprisoned inside in a of, village girl's yeah. brain yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah so we got some more and then sad tf on as they're because like they're kind of running down right yeah they're kind running of. deeper down to try and get out and while everything's collapsing uh majikaja gets crushed yes and his like last moments of life are giving his scent aura, scent memory, l- memory aura. life, yeah, uh, to Fapita, right? Yes, yeah. And I-, I was kind of bummed that like we don't know who he is. 
He's a guy. He was right? he, like, he just was like, he was one of the Suicide yeah, but like, Squad. Isn't that kind of I know depressing? Yeah. Like I I hope that maybe in whatever the next season is that Get something because she has his memories. Maybe we yeah. can see his backstory. But like, yeah, because especially him cause and Moogie, both he of them ended up such a different hollow than the rest. And yeah, Moogie retained the language. Yeah. So it's so weird that like you this this character that you just never find out like what is fucking deal who they are how he got to that like it's so so different so depressing yeah yeah no i i agree and then um is there much besides that i'm done for notes okay so um yeah so uh so fueco is kind of full yeah bad bad type hollow. bad hollow mush monster and and then also the deal is is the the original agreement was the hollows can't leave yeah. the village yeah. so uh uh so then fueco is basically dying yeah in front of Fapta. yeah and uh, and you know how in um in episode 10 uh, when, uh, like the scene with Nanachi and and Midi and and Belaf, mm-hmm. where where I said I definitively didn't, you where did I definitely not said cry. I didn't cry yeah. and I didn't. Um, the you will not be saying same. Oh, can not <laughs> entirely be said uh-huh. for this. Okay, um, because my last note is I'm weeping. Yeah. Fuck this yeah, yeah. uh it had been it I, I think it would have gotten me anyway uh but i had had a particularly emotionally taxing day and and then i got this well and uh happens. yeah it destroyed me yeah i don't i don't think it it didn't destroy me but I had a very like a moment of just sitting just, there, very ugh. like yeah. I paused it. Oh, and I, yeah, you paused and, it. And yeah. I just sat there for a second. And I was like, poof. <sighs> I'm like, why? Like in theory, this is made for children. In theory, yeah, but it's not. I know it's not, but like because um, I, did, I, did I tell you like L- LW's watched all of it too? Yeah, I think you told me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and because we were talking a, a bit about it on the stream like, a week or two ago, and we're like, it. it I, we, I, as we were telling other people, because no one had seen it besides us, so we we're telling. Adam Shea and the chat and whatever. Yeah. And uh, we're like, it, it looks like it's for kids. It was not for kids. <laughs> yeah. Don't let kids watch it, it. Yeah. It'll really mess them up. Don't, don't let them. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so, so that, and uh, the, the, the prophecy is sort of fulfilled. The, the yeah. village is done. Yeah. Uh, Irimui can rest. Get rest. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and then it, it sort of ends. Clearly, there's more to come. Like, yep. the 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 OG crew is there, plus Fapuda. Yep. And uh, Fapuda's part of the ir- original promise with Reg mm-hmm. was that after he yep. helps her destroy the village... They would get married and that, make babies. <laughs> that she, w- she would come on adventures with him. Yes. Um, and he's like, you going to do it? She's like, uh, she, she's a real coy bitch about it. Nah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so it, it's unclear if she's like in the crew. Yeah. And it's, I, I think it literally ends with her like scampering yep. away. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. So I assume we'll see more of her. I don't know if she's just, if, if she's full crew yeah. or if she shows up. There is, there is definitely a conversation that they have before reg goes back up at earlier yeah where he says like where she says like and and then we can or no he says something about like we can walk away hand in hand mm. and then she said and make babies and i was like gross please stop this <laughs> i don't i don't need babies robot babies. furry babies no thank you so much babies making babies yeah so i i i wonder what like what the next season would be like trying to figure out how to go back up or that they realize there's more down. Well, I think we have to do more down because the reason we're here in the first place, and it's really not brought out ah, much in the season. True. It's not even in the season is because at all. Rico's trying to find her mom. Yeah. How does she <laughs> and, know that uh, her mom wasn't one of the hollows in the village? Doesn't know. Uh, exactly. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess not everyone in the village is an OG uh, Suicide Squad. No. It can also be cave searchers. Yep. And, and we did actually find a time frame. I, I believe the village was founded 180 years ago. Yeah, I think they say that. I, I think we yeah, get an actual right, time right. frame. Yeah. So, th- so we, we at least know relatively to each other what, what everything's going on. Yeah. Well, so yeah. I, I, that'll, I so guess yeah, I that think would we'll, be what the... We'll get, I think we'll so have then to get obviously some there's other more stuff. than six layers. Or Unless that more, whole thing is just Or just more layer. going on in six. Because that, yeah. that, like, it wasn't the whole six. It was a village in oh, the six that's layer. True. That's true. So there's probably more going on. Yeah, I don't know... It, I don't think you need to do a seventh layer. Like I think if the six is the bottom, the six is the bottom, and you can just do whatever you want. That's true. There. That's true. But uh, I am but, a big seven layer dip guy, though. True. You love it. I do. So uh, yeah, so that the new season's coming maybe late twenty four, early twenty five. So, but, but knowing we'll anime, who fucking knows? It could be twenty twenty eight. They do like to take their time. Yeah. Uh, I assume there's more manga out than uh, television has happened. But much like Attack on Titan, I will wait the five years and not spoil it for myself. Because what am I gonna do? Read Japanese shit? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a ride. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I might just watch the next season without somebody, even like, I'm sure somebody would request it. Maybe a word tip. But I think I might just watch it. Like I'm going, like, yeah, I'm going like, to watch it. Like I'm not going to wait for somebody to be like, oh, hey, watch yeah. this. I like this show. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. I like this show. I've liked it a lot more as it's gone on because, like, the, I think yeah. Because I remember when we the did the first movie, I was original, like, eh, "It's fine." The original two, you were like, "It's it's, it's fine." Okay. But yeah. and like I said, I well, also because I'm a sucker for a mystery box. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, I I need to watch every episode of this, if, even if it goes forever. I need to find out what's at the bottom. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you were like, "Yeah, it's pretty good. I could take it or leave it." And then yeah, you then you like the third movie yep. more. Yep. And then it's a lot darker and more like kind of evil. Yeah, and then pretty. And then this one, I was yeah pretty into this one too. Pretty into this one. So good job. So Maiden now, Abyss. by the time they get to season three, it'll be my favorite thing. <laughs> nice, Gade in Abyss. Is that a thing? Is that something? We could <laughs> gape in Abyss, blacked in Abyss. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, thanks for listening to all two and a half hours. I mean, it's probably shorter than I thought it would be. It's not bad. I, I, we gave at least an hour, after, maybe closer to an hour and a half to Maiden Abyss. Although it is a full season, so I guess that's. What you have to do, and real like a lot of things happen in it. Oh uh, yeah, like it, like try to summarize it fast. I mean, you you really, can't. you really can't. There's there's this crew, and they get an infertile kid, and then <laughs> then they all get diarrhea, and they yep. and they give the kid a wishing golden egg, and turns the, it into a baby machine, baby machine, and, and then eat. that they eat, and then a village, and. They, <laughs> And then, yeah, like there's, and I that's just one timeline. I there's don't even know how you make entire time. You make this into one movie. Like this would have to be two movies. Too easy. Yeah, you, yeah. You'd have to really spread it out because there's a lot going on. Yeah, especially like in, with all the introducing of the characters and who's what and the the new people and everything. And like, I wonder if I should go back and watch the TV version of um, the first one? season because obviously. Not all of it is in the two true ninety to one hundred and twenty. You really gonna do that to yourself again with uh, with Mitty? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I was gonna say <laughs> no. You might have to skip part of it or just not do it. Yeah. God damn this fucking show! It's like it. It's it's so interesting and unique and looks beautiful and then just tries to ruin your life yeah oh uh, break breaking news oh uh, we got a hundred thousand dollars to watch all of one piece <laughs> one day one day friend uh but friend of the show jimbo i don't want to do it our uh law and order svu correspondent yep has been uh getting good at uh ai art <laughs> and uh has made uh, oh boy a bunch of Scots and a bunch of Drews, and he's in fact prouder of the Drews than the Scots. Nice. So if as long as I'm not uh, 
fat in them. Uh, no, you are. You have like a. I'm super svelte. Twelve pack in every picture. Oh, like like in real life. Like in real life. So feel free to scroll through these fellas and see what you think. Oh boy. Holy shit. <laughs> Pretty good. I mean, my dick's too big, but. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's good stuff. I, I think <gasps> it has a mohawk like I have right now. Like you like you accidentally gave yourself. Well, I like kind of intentionally I did it, but I think I'll use... I think that's a girl. I'm not a girl. I think girls can't have abs like that. I mean, it's covering their tits because it's a girl. Hmm. All right. I'm, I'm, I think I might use one of these as the. Mm-mm. Oh, that is Mm-mm. not Mm-mm. snow leopardy. No. Mm. And that's kind of raccoon face, but that's a little raccoon face. But right. they're pretty good for they're just like very good. a guy telling a computer to make a picture. Uh, yeah. Hey, there's this very lazy snow leopard wrestler. Uh, can you make <laughs> art of him? I'm like, oh, and make him super hot. Well, I am super hot. Should I? I can use one of these as the thumbnail. Yeah, you could. Or I can just use a made in the best picture. I guess I, there's probably no, a we, funny made in the best picture I can find. Maybe I don't know. Or or I could just create crazy murderous fapita. Oh yeah, yeah. There'll be a good picture of that. Uh, and if not, I have a hot Drew to fall back on. <laughs> uh, remember to now. Did you do what we told you to do? I I literally don't know if it was last episode or this episode. I, was this episode the the not fucking around phase? of the podcast where everyone has to send money. Yes. It it was this one. It was this one. Okay. So once this is up for you hear Drew, he's getting like that. You You don't want none of that. So this, this is the part where you send the money. So like 24 hours after the time this is up, uh, Are we, you going to accidentally put it up for free again like you do sometimes? I could accidentally, accidentally put it up for free again. That's certainly on the table. But uh, we want to see uh, some action happening. And otherwise, um, otherwise, that's it. Everybody dies.